Friends with differences. 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 Pause. Friends with differences podcast coming at you every couple of weeks. We went through a whole list of topics today. Uh, our guest star was Jacob himself. Hey, Maya. Jacob, big movie expert. What else did we run through? What did we talk about? We talked about Xavier Remington. Xavier Remington. The expansion of the neuron. Expansion of the neuron. Bullet yeah. train. <laughs> Mail to mail extension cords. Movies. Israel Palestine. Extension. Five um, pillars of Islam. Five pillars of we Islam. We haven't talked about what we would get as a guest appearance fee for this, but we'll I guess talk we'll. About do we'll talk right about that after. Yeah. You um, that? That's off camera. That's off camera. Um, what else? I think that's mostly it. Talk, talk about, about the gas leaks. Talk gas about gas leaks. leaks. Talk about redlining a bit. Talk about what else? We talk about. Yeah, I kind of missed out on the redlining Cal- conversation. California. Love, love the interesting topics. California transportation. Public yeah. Transportation. Slash yeah. public transportation in general. We keep going back. To Lots that of movie one. talk. Lots of movie talk. Jacob, way more movie talk Jacob than the I'm big comfortable with. Movie guest, honest. Movie guest. Give us a little spin. It was a it was a pleasure having you, Jacob. <laughs> thank you for coming on. Hope you guys yeah. enjoy the podcast. And thank Cheers. You All right, to the Friends with Differences podcast, episode two. Cheers. Cheers. We made Cheers. it past the hardest part. Cheers. Glug, 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 glug. Shot, shot, Taking glug. that chug, oh, chug jug. jug. Chug jug, nice. I just got 75 shield. The special guest of the evening. Jacob. 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 <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Jacob Some Warman. Like Andy. Jacob Gerard Warman. <laughs> <laughs> and Liv. <Liz. laughs> and the Montgomery Doll. <laughs> Are we really things. doing this? <laughs> <laughs> no, you have to click in the episode to see. That's true. Okay. I mean, believe There's it or not, we're not security that numbers popular. are four, one, three. <laughs> yeah. No, that was it, actually. Yeah. 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 Keep yeah. going. It's one. It's one. Yeah. If the world hasn't picked up on it yet. We bribed Sam enough. He's back. <laughs> Folks. Oh, so welcome back. And uh, your host, of course. I'll get these hot keys eventually. Oh, yes, I'm here. Evan. Evan Hammonds. Brought to you by the Ginger House. Welcome back to Friends with Differences. Friendswithdifferences.com and all that jazz. Hello. Leo. I'm here. I'm back. And then we've got another special guest. My girlfriend. Special Maya. guest. Girlfriend. <laughs> <Woo! laughs> Alright, so, I listened to the last episode way too many times, I will say. Probably, uh, probably like four solid times all the way through. Oh, we've got some feedback. Yeah, we listened a few times, actually. I'm not going to lie, I listened (laughs) zero times. If you want to hear... Yeah, we can sort of run it back. Some notes here. We got some notes. I I do do some critiques. I I thrive off of this, actually. (laughs) They're way too prepared. I'm not prepared at all. I'm a good rambler. Like, we had this first... Section. Please tell me you came with some facts. Well, we we came. Did you tally how much things. I won? <laughs> That'd be zero. Zero. That's yeah. Top. Sorry. Oh, no. I do have tallies here. <laughs> See, the four times <laughs> I watched it over, I was feeling pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> That's an issue. <laughs> There's the difference right there. <laughs> Too well, many times. <laughs> I guess the first yeah. thing I wrote down, which mm-hmm. you kind of answered, I was I asked, "Why am I your second guest?" <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, fair, fair enough. Yeah. And I want to <laughs> apologize to Sam just right off the back because, like, two minutes into that podcast, it was like, "Sam, just our guest," you know, and I felt like I didn't, uh, you know, I really uh, harped on myself for not giving you a proper introduction enough. That's not okay. just our guest. Our special guest, our, our <laughs> guest star. Well, guest now they star. know my middle name. Yes. Hey, you so now I, I didn't do that. Oh, no, I'm just saying. You're slowly special. giving away more information. And they know Jacob. You're, you're, you're going to be found. Liam's address is dropping at the end, so stay tuned. Yeah. It's on the notes. Yeah. It's in the notes, actually. Or your parents' yeah. address. We I don't still know don't know what you do. Good. That's okay. Yeah. You don't want to know. Well, I think it was funny that I was your second guest. Evan, I haven't seen you since high school. Yeah. Um, Liam, really last time I saw you, we were playing FIFA, it was almost a year ago, probably. No, we played basketball this past summer. It was me, you, basketball? Sam, and Will English. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, we did at the, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's true. Okay. We did. But it's funny that, yeah. like, yeah, I was like, that, that's an interesting choice for a He's second. Mad yes, at you I'm, for I'm, I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> okay. But I haven't seen Are you Are you mad that you're number two, or that it's been this long? No, I just think, like, I, I, why was I so high in the totem pole? <laughs> well... 
I mean, I briefly touched on this before the podcast, but uh, I think it was around the third time I watched it through or so, I noticed your comment. Like, yeah. William went full woke. He did. That was James. And that just on. ate at me. I was like, no, he fucking did. <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding. But, well, which was, well, it's, it's a, funny because, yeah, James is very know. sarcastic with his comments. Satirical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Satirical. Yeah. So, I, I think also I like to pit the world James against me. So. More, even more woke than I am. <laughs> That's why we have you on. My online persona is much different than my real life persona. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Yo, your online yeah, persona. Jacob, warm and evil. It's hard to grasp. That's in the past. It's That's hard to grasp. Past. I, I, have, uh, I took like a social media sabbatical, right? I was off the grid for a while. Minus, minus Twitter. Twitter. Yeah, I love Elon Musk. Twitter. No, it wasn't my love for Elon Musk. <laughs> I just liked Twitter. <laughs> Far before the man. But, uh, like, uh, I couldn't quite put my finger on the evil Jacob. How did you hear about Evil Jacob? Yeah. How did I hear about Evil Jacob? That's a great question. Who told me about Evil Jacob? <laughs> people oh, this is great. <laughs> I so love hearing people this. were talking Somebody about was it. Like, can you, can no, you please share? Ask Jacob. <laughs> what's this yeah. evil? Oh, he evil lost. How many followers did you lose? What's going on? I've lost 25 followers oh, oh, in the past oh, month. Also, I'm so some, jealous. There's <laughs> some like, <laughs> background information for people that <laughs> do not know what Evil Jacob is. He basically Tell was, me, please. He was basically posting pictures of him with like a red light <laughs> on his face <laughs> and saying that Evil Jacob had taken over his Instagram account. And basically that was that was literally it. So yeah. I was just like, oh, this is kind of funny. Mm-hmm. And then he was saying like he lost so many Instagram followers just yeah. from mm-hmm. randomly. I was losing stuff. on average about two a day. <laughs> for a while. Yeah. yeah, for like, well, tor- towards the end. So the entire arc was on New Year's Eve. Jacob said, people were posting, this is my last year. Yeah, like doing a year in review post. And so I post like a year in review post that was like kind of a joke, kind of serious. And at the end, I just said, like, when the clock strikes midnight tonight, evil, I will be handing over the account to evil Jacob. I don't know what he's going to post. Like, he's a different guy. Yeah. Um, and then like right at midnight, evil Jacob posted, I am normal. And it was a picture of evil Jacob with like an evil filter. Yeah. Um, I don't know how he did that. And then it just well, it around. sort of spiraled out of control from there. <laughs> evil Jacob, big nemesis, anonymous, the computer hacker. Yes. Mm. Yeah. So evil Jacob and anonymous went back oh, and forth. Yes. Oh my evil god. Evil Jacob had a real big issue with him. Um, <laughs> Joe Biden actually reached out to him. And Pete Buttigieg. Oh, yeah. And Mayor Pete. Yeah, Mayor Pete was involved in this operation, the anti-anonymous, uh, anti-anonymous task force AAT. We had a whole operation, and it flipped anonymous. Took over the account. He did. That Anonymous was a big... took over the account. Sent out a message. You could watch the message. It's on um, so normal Jacob had to come back. Well, well, yeah. So what happened? Then the okay. Thing? Well, evil Jacob and Anonymous became friends. Yeah. Because they <laughs> sort of realized we're on the same team here. Also, <laughs> and then we find out at the very end, um, there's been a gas leak in the house that's oh. been causing Jacob to I was having some hallucinations. Oh. Yeah, you know things along those lines and. Um, it was a problem. Just that some, just some social media. Did you get the plumber or somebody to fix that? Gas? Well, it was Sam. Oh, that was my idea. <laughs> my idea the on time. the last post was that he would say like, "Hey guys, I just want to reach out and say I'm super sorry for all my posts. It's been crazy. There's <laughs> yeah. been a gas leak. My roommate Sam has been poisoning me with carbon dioxide gas for the last month. Like he's coming out of it and he can acknowledge that yeah. like, oh, this is gas." There was no gas in real life. Like, this was we just, don't have any gas. Our house would, is all electric. Yeah. Like, all electric. Just, you mean you did this so much? We oh, would, absolutely. We would sit percent. in the living room and we would laugh for like 30 minutes and be like, oh, and then you're going to FaceTime The Rock? And the Rock <laughs> yeah, and say, yeah know, I did. Like, <laughs> oh, I love so it. So my idea was that he could acknowledge that there was a gas leak, but he was still under the effects enough where he was like, Oh, but Sam was poisoning me. With I, I, honestly, honestly, made me think yeah. of the Joker. Just wanted to cause some chaos. Yeah, yeah. Just felt That's like awesome. causing I chaos. I want the uproar. Or, you know? So, how many followers do you have now? Like from now compared to like when you started? Yeah, did well, you gain back that twenty five. It really depends on when you start looking. I was at like six seventy seven or so before, Sheesh. and now I'm in the six fifties. Well, last year, honestly, I was blocked fake. by two All people. Fake, you know. I was, forget about them. I was at seven. 30 one point last year and then I started posting Instagram stories of me with like filters on my face <laughs> and then like cheesy songs honestly fuck and that's then like good. that's when I started like losing yeah. followers slowly I mean I mean at the same time like you're never gonna see me like no, the ones yeah, that, 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 that's that the I'm following yeah and like I think the big picture was people would be asking like what's the joke this isn't funny and I'm like yeah that's okay like it's not really funny <laughs> the fact <laughs> is that it's stuff. weird and funny to post something that insane on social media I mean yeah yeah 
that's the joke itself. And like, no one reached out and asked me like, "Hey, what's up? Are you okay? This is weird." And that's like, the saddest part of it all. Oh, wow. They you reached out. Crisis they reached out to all of my friends. <laughs> Legitimately, people were talking about it nonstop. They, like, I yeah. yeah. friends who were like, told me about it. Somebody, let's be honest though, Instagram is a joke. So I mean, I want to know who told you. That. I mean, everybody tries to. It was somebody these, like, I told you were going to be on the podcast yeah. because they were all like, "Ask him about this." <laughs> so I had to talk. Well, we got it out of the you, way. That was, you know, that's yeah. a great point. It was yeah. Grant Linehan. I don't know if it was Grant Linehan. Well, Grant Linehan was, was like, he was like commenting on, he was into it. Oh, yeah. He liked it. Oh, I, I, I appreciated that a lot. Exposed. But, I mean, I, I, think it, I think it's just funny because like Instagram people are just trying to post like the most basic photos. And then, and then I would just like look and be like, Jacob Warman's story. And it'd just be like random ass filters. I'd be like, yeah. all right, <laughs> this is better than the shit I had to watch on yeah. Instagram. Yeah, I like the okay, story. Okay, but your feed, uh, you're, you're, we've all seen Lee's Every, feed. Everybody's feed I agree. Sucks. His feed pretty, pretty bad. Everybody's feed sucks. Real bad. Sucks. Yeah. better than yours. No, it is not. Absolutely it's, it's not. Like, my Twitter feed is so right, fire name. for the AI it's collabs Instagram. because I, I just follow no, who I've collabbed. Mm-hmm. So feed. it's everything you're like crazy. Sonic, VeggieTales, The we have Rock. a podcast now. Yeah, The VeggieTales no. just launched their podcast yesterday. Tune in. Bob and Larry. That's I'll great. listen to about you should get them on. 15 seconds. You know, you think, you think you could swing that? I don't know. I'll talk. I'll talk. Yeah. I'll slide to their game. Be good for exposure yeah. for both of you guys. Yeah. Yeah. That's my think, target audience, too. <laughs> do you think they try to like, spread like a like, Christian the message? Yeah. yeah, the Christians. Is that like, would, do they have an agenda? Are you trying to keep this like secular? Oh, have an agenda? They oh, yeah. very much have an agenda. Uber Christian, yeah. Everybody what has an agenda? agenda. Super Christian. Yeah. I mean, it's not yeah. just to teach, you know, good values and... Well, Christian values. You know, it's real promote funny, healthy... <laughs> if you believe Christian values are good values. Yeah. Uh, I'm so not going to so say yes so Here's the thing. Christian values are good values. Yeah, that's what we got to get into. Yeah. Oh. I didn't know Veggie Tales was... Uh, you know, promoting it makes sense. Oh, promoting more notes. Well, we didn't actually get through all the podcasts. Yeah, yeah we got more notes. We can go through them pretty hey, quickly. I have mental mm-hmm. notes too. If you okay. Want to okay. Uh, well, my second list. question was, what podcasts do you listen to? Because right. I was just I listening to. I was like, I wonder what's going through the heads. What's inspiring them to do this? Um, what's inspiring me and what podcast do I listen to? Do two different questions. You're not going to stump me this time. Um, Third question: Where do you get your ideas from? That's a good question. That's all original. Just this guy, whatever I can come up with. Uh, as far as podcasts I listen to, none regularly, if I'm being honest. Okay. Um, my podcast content that I do consume comes in shorts on YouTube. Okay. Uh, and what inspired me to make this was a starting of uh, a general push for social media. I mean, I started mm-hmm. streaming. I, uh, you know, started Facebook's personal account. Said so I'm starting a social media kind of campaign, if you will. Okay. To inevitably bring public transportation to Indianapolis. Indianapolis will win. That'd be big. Right, That'd be big. Go. Liam, yeah. what do you listen to? Uh, Small Town Murder is a big one. Uh, it's yeah, pretty My solid. Listens to it. Yes. Okay. Yeah, well, I got her into it, but um, it's. <laughs> oh, we <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> But. But no shout out to Jimmy and James. Yes. They really. Yes. It's you guys, whenever come on the bottom, I'm sure Evan and Liam will have you. Oh, that'd be yeah. sick. Just hit me up in the comments section. I'm sure I'll see it. I see them all. <laughs> the, the Takes show. a lot of time. <laughs> you know, I don't get a lot of sleep. Like, I cannot wait to go to their So they're actual show. Com- they're actual comedians. So they do stand up comedy. So like they'll go tour stand with stand up, and they'll yeah. do like live podcasts. What are you stand up? I will be at one of their shows. Actual they're comedians. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Actual. Like, What's an actual. actual comedian? Well, like, so, well, like, well, like, so the difference between podcast and stand up. So they're used to doing live shows and stuff. Yeah. Whereas like a lot of podcast people, when they try to do a live show, since they edit so much that they can't. The flow doesn't work. Yeah, the flow doesn't work. Yeah. So, like, they're used to doing it all live, so that's helpful. And you're sitting down, crushed it. What? The difference between stand-up and podcast. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, that's big. <laughs> yeah. What do we got next? <laughs> you, went that, you held that one in. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I did. So that's your, that's <laughs> your only, is that any other big podcast you listen to? Um, not really, because, okay. I mean, I tried to do one with my friend Darius, like, a year ago. And then he got really busy, so we couldn't keep going. And I feel like I'm... Well, this train's not stopping. I, I, I feel like I'm to the moon. my voice is good yeah. for it. 
Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm terrible. I I constantly interrupt people. I did critique myself. I was beating myself over it. I felt like I was interrupting people all oh, last podcast. So I'm gonna try not to. But it's probably going to happen. Yeah. I listen to a lot of podcasts, actually. Like podcasts about lists. That's a big one we listen it's to. A big one about yeah. lists. Just about lists, not not plural. Just one. Now, most of the podcasts you consume, do they also uh, do you consume the visual form of the content? Do they have a visual? You know, is there a video? Um, <laughs> recently, <laughs> yes. That's a new development in like the last month. But when I started listening to podcasts about lists, right. there was no visual oh, component. Yeah. But, oh, but yeah. what I'm saying, what I was saying with doing a tier list, we could do it and like talk about it, and you don't have to have like the visual would be something they could watch, but could talk about it without having to really give a visual. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like, like if we got something for like fast food, if we wanted to compare, that just sounds lame. If I'm being honest, I don't want to eat fast food. If I'm being honest. Yeah. yeah. Fair. Damn. Okay. Okay. I do though, so I could rank it. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have um, next? Next thing I thought th- this was initially going to be a criticism of Evan, but yeah. it turned into kind of an affirmation for you. Um, Kind of coming back to it. So you said uh, on the last podcast you mentioned a book called Farm Animals, (laughs) and you're talking about how it's kind of this (laughs) metaphor for communism with animals. And I'm like, is he talking about about George (laughs) Orwell's Animal Farm? And like, and then the more you talk, I'm like, yeah, you're talking Animal Farm. But in the comments of your video. No, and I knew I messed it up yeah, like afterwards, yeah. but there's no going back. <laughs> you I acknowledge fumbled. it. I and, fumbled. I did. And so I, I thought it was funny. Okay. Farm it, animals. It was, Good book. Yeah. And I was totally I was totally wrong about many things about that book. I knew it had uh, a point, you know, in the conversation, but I was wrong about the title, uh, the origins of the author. Um, Basically everything is what I'm hearing. Uh, besides the thematic elements. So did you read it or no? Yeah, I read it. Okay. Have you read it? I have read it. Yeah. Okay. I'm just like confused. Nose guys? Because you guys. So <laughs> yeah. just look at I'm just kind of reading it right now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of knocking it out right now. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you, you, okay. got the, you got the name wrong. You got, got the, the author origin wrong. Yeah. I was like, it's I was like. Yeah, but yeah, no, books clear, aren't the fact that you acknowledge. But I do enjoy books. I don't uh, read for leisure as people do. Yeah. I can't do it. I just I have to read for uh, I like informational I guess. attainment. Yeah. Like I have to have a strong justification. Like I want to read something in order for me to actually sit down and get through it. For mm-hmm. sure. It's not just for your own enjoyment. No. Yeah. No. Like right. next point. Fiction. I don't really. Next point. Um, one thing I just want to correct. Um, last podcast. Sam was kind of mad about the subject. He you deleted it off the list. I saw. Yeah, I did. Um, you guys said that Trump took office in 2016. Mm-hmm. He was elected in 2016, didn't take office till <laughs> January 2017. Fantastic yeah. point. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I, just I thought put I'd under that, that on our doc, I said, no one cares, Jacob, and it looks like it's not on there anymore. So. <laughs> well, I think I this will be a big hit that I brought this up, and so mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. just a podcast that's willing to correct No, no, no. Itself. We will get corrected yeah. eventually. It's best to do it on the podcast. Let's own it, guys. More, more, yeah. more so some but others. <laughs> yeah. That's you, Evan. Speaking no, of correcting. I refuse to sit here and just take it like I was wrong all last podcast. Y'all were making points. I was sitting here also giving points, but it's not like you guys uh, won the day. We have facts with ours, though. <laughs> Speaking of... You made a comment last mm-hmm. podcast about uh, how you think how everybody should learn to debate yeah, yeah. and it's true. Look, you know listening back I was like man Liam should take some advice because it just doesn't feel like you're listening I am listening <laughs> I win the bit. I think okay okay here's just another point this okay. one this is gonna Evan's gonna like this point <laughs> yes I think Evan you were in the hot seat a lot of the last cool. podcast we're gonna put Liam in the hot oh, seat I here we want I want to hear some clarification yes well, so Liam, on the last podcast, um, you mentioned that you don't like the new Republicans. We don't need to get too political here. You don't like the new Republicans, but you respect the old, good Republicans. Not not good. Not I'm pretty sure the word good was used. Brian, I can't so, speak to that. And so I want to know, who are the good Republicans of old? No, Give I me mean, some examples. I think I meant more like old Republicans as then they had some sort of morals, whereas the new ones don't really like... You can't say they don't have morals. They're just, they you don't. don't think their morals are no, 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 no. directionally correct. No, no, no. Right? Uh, the new Republicans, they their whole argument is just to like basically stop people, like more people from voting. They're going backwards and not forwards as a country. They're pushing that. 
is that different from the d- Democrats and Republicans of the 1940s? A little bit. Of, a little more. <laughs> I feel like you're trying to trying to st- stop me here. I do well, of not course know. Of course, he is. a printed piece of paper yeah. now. We but, came prepared. I mean, honestly, don't know about the 1940s Republicans and Democrats. To be fair to myself. Yeah. Thanks for coming with facts, Jacob. I do appreciate it. You um, are a history teacher. Well, <laughs> well, no, hey, no. that's why we have him on. We, we don't know what he does. I don't know what I do. He doesn't really do anything. Uh, he just kind of exists. Yeah. Um, I just want to see both sides. Uh, nothing I say is endorsed by my employer, <laughs> and I'm not intended <laughs> to be reflective of their values. I apologize. Um, but I mean, yes, the 1940s Republicans and Democrats were probably all, you know, funded by not very good people. It didn't really uh, yeah. Yeah. take take uh, into effect. I just think it's worth the fact that they are all bad. They were bad. I mean, yeah, I'd probably agree. But, (laughs) unfortunately, yes. But, again, I think my point more was, like, you know, having two sides that can actually do something is good, but... Like segregation? No, no, no. That's not what I'm talking about. They both were bad. I'm not talking about the 40s. I'm not talking about the 40s. President Joe Biden. Joe Biden, Biden has Biden. never supported that. Yeah. He is a segregationist. He is a friend of Strom Thurmond. Y'all, y'all strolling here acting all high and mighty, feeling like y'all one last podcast and that I'm going to be canceled. But honestly, when I do look back, I think you guys have more extreme opinions than I do. Uh, like, like last time, I was definitely like uh, poking you guys on, you know, cultural appropriation. And it felt like y'all were hitting that, like, it, like integration is bad, you know. Like, no, that's that's the way it comes across. Not the, yeah. I know, but I said we don't want to be culturally integrated. It was like, well, uh, like, no, oh. you're saying that they're the same. No, 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 no they're not. But cultural appropriation. I'm saying that's what came out of the conversation about Cult- cultural, cultural appropriation versus cultural appreciation is very different. Yeah, that's in- right. cultural appreciation is integration. The, cultural uh, appropriation. That's discriminatory. That's literally. Well, what mocking. is it literally like in the physical form? Mocking. Okay. Mocking. It's minstrelsy, if you know what minstrelsy is. is. Minstrelsy um, actually began as a form of theater in about the 1920s, um, early jazz era. Um, And it was a form of, literally the entire play was structured around a character of some kind. Um, There Mm. are different characters, but the point of it is the theme is that the actors and actresses, mostly actors, were painted in what we now call a blackface. And that's Ooh, what blackface comes that's from. That's where the origin is. Mm-hmm. Yes. This so is they like, were I didn't know the history of that. to exaggerate bad, and they but. portrayed characters who had traits, um, ex- exaggerating that they were ignorant, incompetent, and silly. So literally mocking black people. Yeah, that's fucked And up. That's, what, that's why blackface is so offensive. Because right. it comes from decades of mockery and using us as literal comedy. And a tool and to make profit for those white artists. To make profit yeah. and to literally dehumanize. So yeah. that is cultural appropriation. Or cultural right. appropriation is but wearing an, a native indigenous headdress. That's cultural and appropriation. And aiming to mock them, right? That's Wearing it, period, yeah. is inappropriate. Yeah. Because well, fair, to, no wear to wear a headdress actually now, has meaning. Yeah. It has meaning in indigenous communities, so it has to be earned. So yeah, that's, that's literally that's mocking fair. someone's culture. Okay, but, but in order for it to be cultural appropriation, it has to be aiming to mock them. Just doing it, period, is mocking. Yeah. So you doing it at all is doing that. That's it's, it's the equivalent right, of but me I saying just that define I'm swinging at you. Right, but I just cultural appropriation, like doing it without culture? doing it even without because the words themselves aren't. Bad, right? Culture and appropriation to appropriate something isn't innately bad. Appro- right? Yeah, no. Appropriate means to like steal and take something as your own without permission. Yes. Yeah. Well, oh, that's roughly that the Google it. definition, I think. It, that's pretty accurate, but we are using those terms to define what I've just described. Mm-hmm. Because See, that I is guess the I best didn't terminology tie we can come into up a, with. a form of like uh, like an innately mocked it. I guess is not how I perceived it. 
Yeah, I, but I, didn't, I, didn't, I, you know, I haven't read the dictionary completely. It goes into the concept of like intent versus impact, where you may not intend to do that, but the Still, impact of it yeah. with going along with the history of things impact of it is negative even if you're not intending it to be you are still impacting people negatively and that's the the problem with it is it often for those who say they're doing it without intention to do harm it comes from a place of actual okay. ignorance where you didn't uh, yeah, know yeah, better yeah. and that is those people's parents grandparents and right. teachers fault for not teaching them that it's wrong it's the same as me coming up to you right now and punching you and saying i didn't mean to hurt you but I literally punched you, right? That right, make so sense. I think the, the like, uh, it's like a language barrier, right? I had a different idea of what the word appropriate means. So know? what did you want to talk about that was, like, in a positive context? No, I just wanted Not to... Not even an appropriation, but, like, I, in the... I, like, I started the conversation with... What did you I, think I, was, I brought like up the word cultural yeah. appropriation, and then I wanted to bring up the fact that it's always tied to be negative, because, uh... In my mind, it, I didn't associate it with a, like a mockery, right? Like when somebody asks, "Is this appropriate?" Okay, you know? so you just didn't know what the word appropriate. Oh, so you meant like etiquette, yeah. like cultural but it's, etiquette. Is that not the the same word? Appropriate, as in like you're dressed appropriately. Is yeah, that like what you're is it appropriate yeah, to wear a blazer? Yeah, cultural appropriation. Well, it's certainly appropriate. When, uh, like uh, appropriate I, when we do it. You know. So he just didn't know what the word. Correlated the words you. together. Because I guess they're so similar. Because you think I'm appropriate, to, you're like, that's appropriate. And so is right, that what right. Saying? Appropriate. Like, what other context have I heard it? Cultural appropriation, uh, is that appropriate? Well, and if it's appropriate, it is respectful, right? <laughs> so, cultural appropriation, I guess, I assume. The verb appropriate. Uh, the verb appropriate means to, like, steal and take Instead of appropriate. Word. Is different. Appropriate so, and appropriate are, are different. Words. They're two yeah. separate words, <laughs> yes. All right. All right. Welcome to English 101. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can yeah. see where you would have drawn that if you didn't know that it wasn't but the same also, word. Also, when we were talking about cultural appreciation, saying. we weren't saying, like, it needs to be segregated. We were just saying that, like, you know, you have to make sure you actually appreciate what, like, the culture is. Like, you can appreciate food. But it doesn't mean you can do other things. Yeah, and I think the acknowledgement of there are things from other cultures that I can't participate in because I don't have the same histories and backgrounds and experiences is fine while still like understanding that like yeah i can still like in, eat the f culture's food and yeah, things like that like, like cultural like it's cultural delicious. appropriation is very similar Depending to like the food. there is like i don't see color it's always like that's bullshit. like almost cultural appropriation that's just where you're yeah, yeah no, but, but, but unless it's you're colorblind like, it's very much like saying like oh we're all one people so i can do what i want well, you literally can't of, see color like come on set. Yeah, you're going to give me that. It's not colorblind. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's not colorblind. Like <laughs> colorblindness. Use, and even, even that, like purple versus you green. still see the difference <laughs> in, in, in how people phenotypically present. It is 4v1 so, out here. I'm trying. <laughs> you can't say you don't see colorblindness when you can see no, all I'm the saying. other phenotypical <laughs> differences. Yeah, just shut up. <laughs> That's like saying, I don't see color. So I say, I'm not sure you're going to take so I don't want to eat it. We can get a dictionary out. What do you have, Sam? My next question for you, Evan. Sure. Um, right. You're kind of an architect, right? Uh, I'm an architectural designer. You kind of know designer. about electrical stuff, I don't too. have an architectural license. I'm That's an architectural fine. designer. For my course. question. Well, you come from a family. You come from electricians. Electricians. Yeah. Well, What's so bad first about... First generation. Well... Uh, second generation electrician. Yes. Well, what's so we, bad yeah, about? Bad. Could just ask we'll him if he could hook us up. What do you think about? Sounds biased. What do you think about How male to male that? electrical cords? Extension cords. Extension cords. Male to male extension cords. You got any of those? <laughs> wow. Um, because apparently they're the worst thing that's ever been made. You can give no, them I can see that. I can see that. I don't get why. Like I completely mm -hmm. respect people know more about it than I do but like everyone's like why not can't this? you do that yeah everyone's like this why will cause a fire why can't you go male to male I, I, I don't no, know about this no it's a cord, so it's a cord. with it's a, a cord male in in a male in. right so, so you're, <laughs> you're you're taking an extension cord plugging it into a wall and using the metal tip yeah. to zap Liam <laughs> like the objective right is that That's what would it. happen I don't know probably that sounds I mean, like what somebody's trying to do is like I just think it's really funny. Yeah. You so know, like, one time <laughs> as a kid, I tried to make my own extension cord. All <laughs> 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 the male extension cord. Like literally, I was probably like seven. I don't know. And I just Prodigy. got two metal wires, 
and uh, nightlight. <laughs> and then I tied the metal wire to each of the prongs of the nightlight. And then I was just going to stick them up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I asked my mom, because I'm a good kid, and she was like, yeah, yeah. And then I went to do it, and I was like, are you sure? <laughs> and I, uh, yeah, it was probably one of the first times I, like, you know, double-checked with my mom. <laughs> like, really? Are you sure, Mom? Is this a good idea? Because so, I think I knew, I kind of knew it was stupid, you know? I was like, it should work, but I probably should, you so, know, bite the bullet or something. I didn't hear no on the mail the mail yeah. so we should get one of those. Continue on. We'll figure that out. <laughs> it depends what you're trying to do with it. That's Anything up, and everything. That's up, up there. Um, it's not going to do a whole lot. Last episode, we already touched on it once here. Uh, you guys wanted to talk about a bullet train. But yeah. Jacob had a, mm. a little point with that, and that yeah. was... You guys didn't talk about the movie Bullet Train? Oh, it was film a good film. Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Oh. That was a good film. Was it? How many bags of popcorn? Out of five. Out of five? I, I would give it a solid four. A four bagger. Four? And Bad Bunny was in there? It's not five. Brad Pitt was in it though. Brad I don't. I don't. Five. I don't give it. I don't give anything five. That's unfair. That's unfair. Four. Nothing. Nothing. Well, this is a good. Nothing question. is perfect. My. We'll get to that in four a second. And Maya, ounces. how many Maya bags? Of it was five. Five bags of popcorn from Maya. Jacob, Evan, and I will each give it two and a half. Two and a half. Because we, we, we haven't seen it. So, so we're just right down the middle. Okay, like, that's yeah. your homework. Yeah. You um, gotta watch it. Top four movies. Well. Ooh. We didn't really address Bullet Train enough. I mean, what do you want to talk about? Yo, and well, we Brad Pitt. Does that affect trends? your rating? Is that uh, why you gave, only give it a four? No, I, I no, no. It didn't have to do with Brad Pitt. It was just like it, it's very solid. It can be a little corny at times, but it was it was a yeah. solid film. I think it was pretty good. Man, it's like yeah. I feel like I should be more confrontational, but I like being entertaining more. So. You want to be more confrontational about Bullet Train, the film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's talk about trains. trains. So last time on the podcast, you guys stated that Elon Musk stopped the train in California. How did he do that? Um, he like lobbied to get his, you know, the when did thing he do to that? Oh, I don't know the dating. See, because 20, I tried to dig into that to see how he stopped the train, and it. What is it? The hyperloop? Is that? Yeah, yeah, the hyperloop. He no, said right, that like the purpose project. of the hi- no, but he said the purpose the, of the hyperloop the was company. to prevent the use. Of, like he knew that the hyperloop was like cutting off California or whatever. Okay, it was but the hyperloop is the, different was, from the boring but he, company. But he, but he was saying he was saying that the so hi- the tunnels are like a totally un, like a different California project. was looking for public transportation, and he said, "I'll do the hyperloop instead of you guys doing bullet trains," which is the tunnel. And right. he knew the hyperloop. Okay. Yes. He didn't want yes. that movie. That's to that's accurate. But the the boring company's been there for years before that. Like he's been trying to do the underground traffic thing way before that. And maybe he does, but the point of getting in California recently, he said, was like to stop the formation of a bullet train because it would be bad for business. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand that logic. I do know he was. Less yeah, cars. I did see that. Like, um, you know, he's Le- less have cars pulling for the hyperloop. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived somewhere that is a walkable or has efficient public transit? Yeah, New York. You live yeah, in New York. I lived in New York. Did you miss your car? Oh yeah. You did. Oh yeah. Really? I like driving a lot. I love public transportation, though. Don't get me wrong. I want everything. <laughs> See, I can't, I can't relate. I've lived in two <laughs> different places. She wants all of the fossil fuels. And I did yeah. not miss my car. Like, the oh, entire didn't like, time. Yeah. But I, I like, like driving. Do you like driving? No. Nah. So maybe that's There you it. go. But There's I, the difference. Friends yeah. with Evan, differences. Evan, 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 not Evan, calm. Evan. Check us out. <laughs> Evan, Evan wants all the fossil fuels. I just can't believe you did it. Like, you like were just energy. like, screw my car keys. <laughs> like, I don't, I can just walk and take I the train everywhere. I had a car. I owned a car while I lived in New York. And I was on the verge of selling it. And there I brought go. it to New York for a while. But, it, you know, uh, I inevitably quit and moved out of New York. And now I'm very happy that I didn't sell my car. Well, yeah, now. But, yeah. like, you were thinking about I almost it. sold it, like, yeah. So imagine how bad that is for commercial. business if there was really an efficient train in Cali. If everybody's living there and thinking the same it, thing. Like, no, I it's, it's, that's either. counterintuitive. That's... They're totally not Cali, how Cali, the economy works. Cali is also the more people you can bring in and out of a city, the more it's going to thrive. 
for sure. No, no, no not the no, city. No, not the city. People are just not Tesla. wanting their cars. With Tesla? Sure, sure. People aren't going to want their cars when there's a train. That but he didn't, he didn't petition to not have a train at all. He petitioned for his style of train, which was and is arguably worse. So, yeah, that did... I mean, he competed for the train, right? And... But Maybe his train, train failed. Yeah, yeah his like theoretically well, well, could be so, so, done. So, but, but but in general, the vacuum seal but, train. But in general, do you not think that he might have had the train fail because he was just one of his car company to do better? And he knew he had tunnels coming. Because no, a successful I don't think train, he was who biased wants their car? towards the electrical car business. I don't think he was like, let's sabotage this train ven- vendetta so our cars thrive here more. He said, like he, why, he why says, he hates the traffic there. He's been literally trying to go under the traffic. Like yeah, he I, I know, wants to that solve was, it, but that's a horrible plan. Like he shouldn't have went with the hyperloop, the vacuum sealed container. That's the train. I mean, that's the train impractical cool, though, for sure. Normal train. But the well, boring company, gotta get you gotta train. get behind the boring company. Clean train, yeah. just like clean, efficient train comes to your station every five minutes. Yeah. And, and what if there's a station board? every like four blocks, so you're always within walking distance. That'd be dope. Because I just spent four months in the city like that. What city? Santiago, and I uh, yeah. literally didn't like didn't miss my car. I actually yeah. came home and was like, oh, what do I do with this? Like I don't. No, right. and I don't have shitty drives either. Like it's one thing if you're in traffic every day, you know, and. It's a different experience Sorry. if you're like hitting the open road. <laughs> like I went to school in Cincinnati. <laughs> and it's super hilly. It sucks to drive there. Sure. But it's it's, it's fine, you know. Oh, like driving there is like an hour and a half, two hours. And like driving's like uh, my like meditation. That's what it is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I Next point. Um all right, let's what are your on. top four films? That is a hard question. Pitch Perfect. Um, <laughs> this is what you said last time. Start with. Anna Kendrick's is uh, uh, Oh, you like Anna Kendrick? I do. Yeah, okay, I do okay, a I lot. And it's like, uh, you know, watched like the movie Jersey. with my family a good many times. We've all enjoyed it. So that's why I've said that in the past, okay. but I've gotten made fun of I've multiple times it. for saying it. I've seen it. You want to watch it, right? Should we turn it on? I would stop the podcast right now. Let's go. I think the only Anna Kendrick movie I've seen, I think, I've probably seen her in other other stuff too, uh, the Seth Rogen and Joseph Gordon Levin movie, 50 50. Oh, yeah. She's in that. I've seen that one. It's all right. It's one of her first. I'm just like a a movie movie person, if I'm being honest. Like, my top four favorite movies would be like Pitch Perfect. You got one. Now you see me, if we're talking historically. Now you see me. Historically, yeah. I've said that. Um, Big fan. I've seen it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a movie guy. So we got two. Liam. Okay. So Can you name more than two? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's the, the <laughs> two movies. Okay. It's going to turn into how many movies? What was the last time you watched a movie? Last, night. last night. Yeah, yeah. yesterday. Yeah. yeah. What'd you watch? Oh, my God. Let me check um, the calendar. It was on HBO. It was, uh, I watched Horrible Bosses 2. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Jason Sudeikis. Yes. Charlie Day. Charlie Day is, Charlie Day is one of my favorites. I watched uh, the Doctor Anastasia series, series last week. We did see that. With your dad. I forgot yeah. about that. That's crazy. But, uh, I don't watch it. No. A lot, to be it's got, got to have Inglorious Bastards. Inglorious. Right. Oh, Tarantino. Inglorious. Okay. Oh, I do like it. Inglorious Bastards is great, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Django, put it on my list. Okay. We just watched it. We just watched it. Yeah, yeah, I love Django. 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 I've probably Django. seen Django, like, probably 30 times. Wow. Yeah. yeah. It's it's like my background in college. So Evan's up to three. It's bad. <laughs> three movies. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I just turn it on and really study and do stuff. That's a really intense movie to, like, have on in the oh, background. I'm an intense guy. Mm-hmm. You know, Liam's at two. Me, yeah, I'll, I'll, okay, I'll go Deadpool. Deadpool. Because that's actually a superhero movie I enjoy. <laughs> it's a good one. <laughs> He's paid for me to see that movie before. <laughs> I paid for you. Actually, that was the first rated R movie I saw in theaters, but I had to have them buy the ticket. So I had to pay. I forgot about that. I had to pay. I gave them my card to pay for my ticket and theirs because I was 16, so I couldn't get in. Yeah. You got bribed. Yeah. Show broad movie. But, uh, okay, hilarious. so those, those two. Jesus. This is a lot harder when you're put on the spot. For sure, but um, watch movies. Saving Private Ryan. 
Yeah, so yeah that's, a, that's a blind spot in my Spielberg. Big Spielberg yeah. fan. Sure. I like yeah, I don't watch, I don't watch horror, so none of the horrors. No funny. horrors, okay. Yeah. But actually, I'll, I will put Get Out because it's more of a thriller. Okay. Get Out's good. I haven't seen that one. You need to watch Get Out. Get Out's good. Have you seen Nope? Nope. Have you he seen? Hasn't. Have you seen us? Nope. Us. Nope. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen Maya. Nope, though. It's good. No, it's great. It's on right. HBO Max. Max. It is. I, I have it on Blu-ray. You can borrow it. It, it <laughs> wasn't. <laughs> is it still on HBO Max? Stream Nope on HBO Max. They are our sponsors today. Sam and I saw it in theaters pretty late in the run. Yeah. Through AMC A list. Twenty dollars a month. Um, Twenty dollars a month. Um, AMC A list. Three movies a week. Twenty dollars a month. I'm not being paid to say this. Um, this big fan. Big fan <laughs> of. We are getting paid. Jay Warren. Jay Warren. We're getting for. We're getting paid in film. In yeah. cinema. All right. Maya, what are your top fours? So high. Um. I. Black Panther. Ooh, that's cool. I love Spider-Man with, um... Miles Morales, the... Multiverse? I, I love that one. That I one's fire. Remember, That's um, a really good Toby one. Tobey Maguire. Oh. That's got a special yeah. place So we'll just heart. aggregate. <laughs> Tobey Maguire, Spider-Man. Yeah. yeah. And put those three into one. We'll put... Because yeah. that works. Yeah. But yeah, I just... I just Tobey Maguire movie. Yeah, that was the first of. one I saw, yeah. so it's got mm-hmm. a special place. Um... You're a big superhero gal. I am a superhero gal. I'm trying to not name all superhero movies right now. It's really hard for me. Um, I would do... Okay, Princess and the Frog. <laughs> okay. uh, I got that one in. And... I was like, like all time, um, The Little Princess. Did you guys see that one? I don't know is what that, that is. is. Oh, I think it's that's directed by uh, Alfonso Cuaron. I think. Is it really? I yeah, believe so. The Little Princess, yeah. Aren't you related to him? No? Mm. You're thinking of um, the schnoz. Jimmy Durante. Really, Jimmy Durante, the schnoz. <laughs> um, um, my bad, my bad. Yeah. Jacob, your top four? I'll, I'll do it while Jacob's looking at it. Jacob's yeah. also the film buff, so he'll be the cleanup hitter. Yeah. Even though I'm fourth. Um, <laughs> so, what do I want to put up there? I think Jim Carrey's Grinch is like the classic. It's like oh, the go-to, oh, yeah. feel-good yeah. movie. Yeah. Really Same funny. Love that movie. Love that movie. Special place right here. Um... It's got to be one of the Lord of the Rings. Jake and I oh, talk yeah. about this all the time. Fire. Fellowship has it's such a great to feeling to yeah, it. Yeah. You can just yeah, immerse yeah, yourself in the I'm world of the Fellowship. So much of it. Beautiful. In the Shire, it, it feels great. You watch the extended cuts? Oh, oh, of course. Only the extended cuts. Don't doubt it. Um, but then Return of the long? King, so triumphant. It's such an uplifting... We'll give, we'll give you all three. We'll just we'll, give you all three. We'll, bund- we'll bundle. Okay. We'll bundle it. Um, Avatar Way of Water. Might oh, be my oh, my oh my goodness. Woo! That was I the last movie I saw. Well. Really? Yeah. To, to, be, to be fair, that actually, I didn't think about it. That might make the top four. Really? Avatar Way of Water it was pretty freaking good. changed things. And then I think I have to go to Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. Definitely. Oh, what about uh, Goodfellas? Goodfellas is up there. Yeah, okay. That big, was beautiful. What? That was beautiful. Thanks. Did you even did the camera all but a cry? That was yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Did you guys know in the Grinch in that scene where Jim Carrey's pulling the um, he has a tablecloth and he's throwing a tantrum. Mm-hmm. He's throwing, yeah. That that was like not supposed he, to. Yeah, happen. and then yeah. he just. He like oh, yeah, he, he pulled the tablecloth yeah. and everything stays on the table, <laughs> yeah. and that's then he, he gets mad back. and knocks yeah. everything off. That was in front right there. Yeah, that's hilarious. Just, it's good. You also know that he and I have like a CIA person for torture yeah. to come in because of how long the makeup took. It was like seven he hours. He picked up, day, yeah, hours smoking cigarettes. For that film because it was so stressful to be on the inside of that suit he couldn't sweat <laughs> oh wow. or he ruined the makeup mm-hmm. that is so badass all right ace ventura put it on my list <laughs> okay i've been rounded out before, before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah i'm actually kind of shocked Jim will didn't make my list at all yeah, yeah i'm looking back at it Go all right jacob i don't it's hard for me to do a top four i've seen a lot it's of tough. movies um, if you were to check my letterbox right now, mm-hmm. um, I've got Martin Scorsese's The Color of Money. Okay. Really good. We just watched it recently. Paul Newman. I got a Paul bet Newman. that I have not seen any of the movies he's about to say. I would bet that that might be true. Um, <laughs> Cinephile. <laughs> uh, number two, Deep Cover, starring Lawrence Fishburne wow. and Jeff Goldblum. If so you want to see the most attractive a man has ever looked, it's Lawrence Fishburne. Lawrence Fishburne and Deep Cover. That's on my bucket list. Dang. He looks wow. great. I wasn't going into it with any expectations. 
<laughs> just like the grimiest, like nineteen like in the nineties, um, something Bill Cobb. Doesn't matter. How long is Bill Cosby? Uh, oh, Bill Duke, not Bill. You yeah. just looked at how long I it is. Did, I didn't look how long it is. It doesn't matter. Um, but it's a good movie. It's a, Lawrence Fishburne plays an undercover cop who slowly realizes that like policing will not solve like gun violence and stuff, and that the Fair. war on drugs is bad. Yeah. Um, mm. And yeah, I mean legalize cocaine, legalize everything. I didn't say that. <laughs> um, I didn't endorse anything, but it's great. It's a great movie, and it's fantastic. That's um, two. That's two. Um, then we also recently watched Once Upon a Time in the West. Oh. oh. Once Upon a Time in the West is good. It's a great movie. It's oh, who directs that? Uh, Sergio Leone. Um, good Ben, the ugly guy. Yeah. Can I, can I just scratch all four of mine and redo it? Because you guys <laughs> took it way too serious. And I, just, I just went on what I have on my list. I know, I'm stating things I've been made fun of for. Coco, I forgot Disney's Coco. <laughs> Yo, that one's fire. That <laughs> one's fire. That is... I can play like mm-hmm. and I all day and I will just yeah, watch it. Pretty like, solid film. Yeah. What's your fourth? I interrupted once again. The fourth, um, I'd say because I typically always have this in the time for me. You two, Mama Tambien. Fantastic movie. Alfonso Cuarón, who also directed A Little Princess. I was about um, to say I've been told to watch that and I have not. It's so good. Don't, probably watch it like. Don't watch it with your parents for sure. Like it's um. Uh, very, it's like a road trip movie where they have a lot of very graphic sex. Nasty. Um, and it's great though, like just like a very like coming of age story yeah. that's really just like dirty and shows you how sad life is, and it's great. That's Sounds beautiful. great. Yeah. Sounds, Sounds phenomenal. If you need to practice your Spanish, watch it. I gotta no. do that. Why is that making me think of Motorcycle Diaries? Uh, like I'm going like I've never seen is, direction is that the one about Che? Che, che about, yeah. Yeah, because I think one of the guys in that is in a two Okay, so I wasn't a stretch like that wasn't yeah. a stretch. Right yeah, there. absolutely. Right. Yeah. yeah, it was when he was like, was you know, it is a stretch. Yeah. It made me think of the Ballad of Buster Struggs, which I'd like ah, one more time. Coen Brothers. Oh, oh my god, big fan of that one. I've watched sure. the first um, short short from that, and I never yeah. finished it. But it's great. Hello, Mr. Pocket. Oh, it's so good. You gotta watch it. That's good. I, like I got Brothers. on a Western Coen Brothers kick. are great. Big Lebowski. Sure. <coughs> Fire. Big yeah. Lebowski. We can go on. Fargo. I mean, uh, goes on forever. Goes Serious on. Man. You haven't seen that. I haven't seen it. Sorry. Yeah, I My brother should, I definitely should like write going. down a better list. I, I have. I literally have a list <laughs> at work because <laughs> it's like yeah, three times a week they're talking box. about a movie and they're like, "Have you seen that?" And I always have to say no. Mm-hmm. And so I literally have a list at work, and I never get to take anything off of it. And I just keep There's like a, there's like a get, poster get with, like, the I top know. 100 movies you need to see before you die. It's, like, the very, like, basic classics. Yeah. Like, I've got a lot of Blu-rays. If you want to borrow some, I got you. How many do you have? 200? Like, 206 now, I think, yeah. or something. Um, I watch my so oh. if, you, if you're interested, I, I got a big collection. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how well that picked up. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, <laughs> what do you guys think dreaming is? That is a great question. Yeah. I, I take the Inception kind of route okay. to where we go into a whole Chris different Nolan. reality. Like, where this is one reality, but when you're dreaming, you're camped up at and another. It's a, I, don't know, I don't dream very much. Okay. Wow. You know who doesn't dream? I dream psychopaths. I will say. Well, I've heard that. I probably am. Maybe I, I have. I don't know. I think I have. It depends a lot on your habits, for, to be honest. Oh, like, probably does. Like, I go through phases where I dream, and then I go through phases where I don't dream for forever. I had my first dream in months, like last week. Mm-hmm. Months. They say a lot of people don't remember their dreams. Like you may yeah, have they say everyone true. dreams yeah, every, every night yeah, if right. you're getting REM sleep, but do you remember it? It's a different thing. Um, uh, I tried to keep like a dream like journal. I was supposed to do that like in grade school. Yeah, that's I remember amazing. I couldn't do it because I couldn't remember. Yeah, like yeah. I would dream and I've then tried. if I didn't write it down in five minutes, it was. God. I, I tried to learn to it. lucid yeah. dream. <laughs> <laughs> if you've ever uh, learned lucid about dream. lucid dreaming, that's like a very middle school. You hear about the concept of like lucid dreaming, yeah. like. I gotta do that. Oh, and then I, you, like, I try it. And it tried doesn't it work. one summer and I couldn't get it. So. Yeah. Have you? But you know the concept. Do you know the concept? 
I maybe feel like it's, I do, but I'm not really sure. It's like the concept of uh, becoming self-aware in a dream. That way you can dictate yeah, what's you happening you in your dream. Make it your yeah, there's having a whole sp- an epiphany. Yeah. There's a whole SpongeBob episode about it. Yeah, like you it's can, like you consciousness can, in dreams. Yeah, like sure. you can consciously yeah. like decide what happens in a dream. So you can make the dream one. Whatever you're you aware, yeah. you're dreaming. Uh, I know what you're talking about. It's Inception. Yeah, basically he watched Inception and decided that's what he wants to do. No, this was before I've seen Inception. <laughs> I didn't see oh, Inception until really late. I told you I don't watch movies. So SpongeBob. The SpongeBob episode. Yeah. Yeah. With well, the dream or yeah. whatever in well, the that, box. It, it, become, it becomes like self-aware that he's in a dream. Yeah, goes and he goes to everyone dreams. else's dreams. In the box? I don't know what I box. don't think I'm thinking... I think I'm... SpongeBob and Patrick in a box, Squidward's getting no, annoyed. No, that's, that's totally different. different. You know the one where... You know the one where... Um, uh, that's a daydream. That Gary a has dream. a big robe on, and he's reading a book. Yes. He goes oh, into Gary's yeah. dream, and he goes into Squidward's dream. Wow, they really did an Inception episode. Yeah. Before Pre-inception. Inception. Christopher Inception. Nolan actually got sued for copyright. <laughs> really? No, no. Yeah. no. Yeah. Um, he should have. Could have been. <laughs> Only facts well, out here. Friendswithdifferences dot com. Friends, friends. Yeah. Uh, I like this list though. It means I don't have to. I like to figure out. Uh, yeah, uh, who's host here, really? You know. <laughs> well, you we guys have been written your teeth, cutting your teeth on you know putting in hard work for the last. <laughs> Yeah. Two weeks. Don't boost him up. He just thinks he's right. I've done I, everything. Else. I think it's important for the guests to kind of bring something to it because I, I know Evan's streaming all the time. Ginger House, come on, get on that, everyone. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate you. And like, we're not putting any like any of the work. We're just kind of showing up. The setups all here. Um, oh, so that's why you, I feel I like you, it's, it's an appreciation. You a Diet Coke. Appreciate it. <laughs> it's appropriate for the guests to bring something. And like, we did some reading. We did. We've some been reading. doing some reading before. Talking about dreams. We were just talking about that, like the brain, how it works. We were just reading The Expansion of the Neuron by Xavier Remington. You yeah. guys read that? No, no. I haven't. No. <laughs> <laughs> the Expansion of the Neuron? Is it um, about expanding consciousness? What is this about? Yeah, kind of. Well, when you think about that, the average human uses 10% of their brain. You know, have mm-hmm. you heard that? I thought it's it was gear and toys. Yeah. Have you seen the movie I, Lucy? Have you seen the movie Lucy? <laughs> yeah, she goes, does 100% of her brain 100% and it feels yeah. like a computer. And she yeah. dies. Morgan yeah. Freeman yeah. unlocks her brain. Yeah. yeah. I've never seen oh, it. Oh, I have seen that. I, yes, I'm familiar. It was but, weird. Yeah, at max capacity, we're at like maybe 30%. I, I thought it was like best. 50 or 60 is used. Definitely I not. Think most most like, like on five. heavy drugs. Compared to me. No, no, no. So, like, the 10% thing is all a lie. What I've heard is that. We know what ten percent of your brain does. Yes. Like of the mass of your brain, we know like we, oh, this controls oh. like motor function. We know what it does. Okay, I perceived you saying that uh, we're that's using what, that. Yeah, much. that's what everyone thinks. That's yeah. what everyone thinks. Well, that's, that's what I'm saying to be inflammatory, though. And that's the thing about it. We but know. Wait, you have to expand your. So, neurons. so we you have know, to expand know. your neurons. So, so we that's know what. But are you, are you talking about expanding the knowledge of our neuro connections, or are you talking about expanding Remington. our perception? Who is Xavier Remington? Let's get into this. <laughs> well, if you can look him up. I'm, I'm yeah, you should look him up. You should look him up. He's great. Like, he's got some good stuff out there. But have like, you ever heard of the Anti Clause? Xavier Remington also writes about the Anti Clause a lot. <laughs> Oh boy. Yeah, wow. the Anticlaus. You heard about him? The uh, same charm as Santa Claus? Well, well kind of the exact You know, I got, I'm a big Santa Christmas Claus guy. You know? I manage a paranormal investigation <laughs> firm. <laughs> and do supernatural field work as well. <laughs> Pre- right. President of Metnistic Investigations. So, yeah. um. We get all our information from Xavier Rimmel. Yeah, well, that's the thing. I keep all right, basically so do you guys believe in ghosts? Ah, oh, that's actually a good question. I good. do, absolutely. You do. I think all kinds. Like, if there's a firefighter that lived here and haunts I'm, this fire, I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I don't know if I, I like. Don't know. I, yeah, I'm all not, kinds of. Lie, but since I don't really question. believe in yeah. religion, I can't really believe in ghosts. Yeah, that'd be hypocritical. Yes, so I don't believe. Well, in not necessarily. Expand. Not necessarily, but yeah, I mean, like, you could not believe in any established religion. And still believe that there is some spiritualism Spiritual out aspect. there, yeah. Um, yeah. but I don't. I would say that if you've ever seen a scary movie, if you've ever seen Hereditary, yes. it's scary. Yeah. Yeah, so after that, I'm a little spooked, yeah. but I'm, I'm trembling. But <laughs> do I really believe in them? Trembling is no. When I really think about it, I don't. But yeah. I get scared. But are you a spiritual or you're a religious man? Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> so in your mind, um, those are unrelated fields. 
His mom watches this. Stop. Yeah, my mom, I don't want my mom to know what happened to church. I go to church every Sunday, okay? Every Sunday. Every right. Sunday at 10 a.m. 8 a.m. Yeah, my mom goes for 10. We walk. We, we walk. We walk. Can we go to church? Yeah, they're walking distance. I wish I walked. That's after. what I miss most well, about New York is walking. See, oh. and this is why you would love efficient <laughs> public transit. Wait, you what's a great public train? transportation? Uh, believe me, I know it. I know you it. Would. It's awesome. You would need a car. I'm a but big he would fan. Cars. Don't get me wrong. I'm not against you. Look, he's yeah. he's all for everything. You, for uh, everything? Yeah, he wants a lot of all cars, the time. a lot of public transportation. He wants everything. He wants all of the fossil fuels, basically. <laughs> I feel good saying I want all the energy, because that feels good to say. You know? <laughs> yeah. But that that seems like it's bad to say. Yeah, probably. No, I would not say that. <laughs> not say that. What you want the energy? Feels good. It's like when you wake up and you like see the sunlight. The energy feels good, you know. I get that. Yeah, like sunlight really wakes you up. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, this is energy feels good. You know, people laugh at your joke. Is there a better feeling? I mean, that makes you feel. We've great, got to harness right? that energy. Forget fossil fuels. The joy of. Oh, we're getting into some monsters Inc. kind of stuff. Yeah, that's yeah, what I was seeing. That, that was in my brain. Yeah. yeah. So laughter is more powerful than s- than screams. screams. Yeah. yeah. Scream. Fear. I believe it. Okay. Speaking of believing, what yeah, we were just talking about religion. what religions do we all grow up? With? Do we all went to Catholic school? What I think like that's the answer? Environment? Yeah. <laughs> did you grow up religiously? Um, I'm an Episcopalian. Okay. But I did go to. Um, I went to a Christian grade school, like non-denominational, and I did like one year at a Catholic school. Had like a filler year that I needed to do, and gotcha. then just enough for them to put the chip in it. No, I'm just well, kidding. My grade school, <laughs> my grade school ended at fifth grade, and then I had to go to Catholic school for six because the school I wanted to go to was like a seven, seven through twelve. Oh, gotcha. So I had like oh. had a filler year and I went to Catholic school. Horrible experience. Would never Is this do it again. in Ohio, Indiana? Yeah. Is in Ohio. Ohio. Yeah. Nice. Very, very bad. Experience. Oh, yeah. yeah. So we, right. we right. all have some Catholic But then I went to Catholic college and had a great time. So, I mean. I went to so a Catholic college. It helps, helps when there isn't as much Catholic religion being pushed down your throat. I have a Catholic class. Well, it was like actually a very racist school. I had yeah, a terrible I experience. Like, I will never forget it. And now I'm just like sharing this, but like, the principal took my and my best friend like we both went and my brother who was also testing to get in our test scores and he presented them to our mothers and said that we failed like absolutely failed tests english science math everything and so my mom came in like the next day and was like and dropped all of our test scores like she had all of her stuff organized in little um accordion file folders and was like this is what grades my kids read at like I was reading at a high school level and just like all of our grades and he was like oh you're fine and then he showed us the real test scores once he was fact checked yes because yeah. he wanted to see what kind of family we were what if they, yeah. were, if they were a bad family yeah in quotes and you know what that is means a, the underlying yeah. context no I don't does that mean you want to stand up for yourself what does that mean no it just means like is uh, it some racist we're not, bullshit yeah. like, yes. <laughs> absolutely and we weren't catholic so for that we had mm. passed the test and we could enroll yeah and so that was and no other family had to go through that except for other minority families or non-catholic families that's pretty fucked up <sighs> it is so that's why I'm like hmm I, I'm not gonna be here defending much. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, oh no, the Catholic Church been fucked for two thousand years. Which was I, why I, was... I really enjoyed my Catholic grade <laughs> school, but I also have said before that I don't think I started forming opinions until high school. So you know, like, well, it was just it was the world I knew. I really did like my grade school, my high school. I mean, uh, uh, I enjoyed the time I had there. Do I like the institution? I'm uh, not recommending it, if I'm being I, honest. I, I mean, I respect where, like, Catholic schooling probably got, like, grade-wise. And, like, I was oh, probably, absolutely. I, was I wouldn't probably, be here without I was the probably education above, of the Catholic school. I wouldn't be. I was probably above of private school. public school it's, education, unfortunately. It's great. It was... We but, went anyway because of that reason. We right, were like, this yeah. is terrible, but we need this education, yeah. so you got it. You, you go. The reputation behind it all, it's kind of crazy. Like, actors... 
you know, what's her name? Becky, right, from Full House. She got busted from... Oh, uh, I thought she was just extremely Christian. I, was she Catholic? Well, she was bribing the, the institution, scandal. essentially, yeah. right? The rowing team? Yeah, yeah, that whole thing. Have you seen the... Uh, Gosh, another person from Full House. She started like a whole Christian uh, channel. Christy Alley or something like Yo, that. As much as we can rip off Full House, we need to. She was like, yeah, no, it's like, I don't it's like know. a fully okay. like devout right. Christian channel. And basically she ended up getting cut from Fuller House, I think, because of it. Did you guys hear about Diamond and Silk? No. no. Yeah, so what is so that? Silk died. <laughs> Silk died. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> not, why are you laughing, Sam? <laughs> she's, laughing? she's terrible. She was terrible. Yeah. I don't, sorry. Explain. Oh, I love this whatever is this is. I'm she not was, they were so like uh, uber pro Trump YouTubers. Oh, uh, personalities yeah. over the top. And, and like Trump, like eulogized them or <laughs> not them. Just, one. just, just one. silk. Just one just one silk. Diamond's still alive. Diamond's alive. I think Diamond's alive. I don't know which one died. Well, either way, he said like. <laughs> I didn't know about Diamond until, like, <laughs> until, until Silk, Silk died. died. <laughs> and well, they like, were always duo. together. <laughs> they're a duo. It doesn't yeah. really matter. I thought that was just kind of fun. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of religion. Yeah, the whole reason I brought up religion, I was just wondering what your guys' favorite <laughs> oh, pillar of Islam gosh. was. You guys are guest every week. Go on. I'm sorry. Yeah, out of the five, what's your favorite pillar of Islam? I gotta go with Salat. Which one's that? Yeah, Prayer. I like the next one, but I'm a fan of that one. You like Isn't there one that's uh, a tradition of Islam? Well, we're we're naming the five pillars of Islam yeah. right now. Yeah, we we learned them in. I don't school. I don't remember I don't, all the Arabic I'm not words. Sure we went yeah. over it. But There's it like, like it zakat, salat, hajj. I don't remember the other two. Yeah, Arabic I do words, remember but hajj. Like, so like I, oh, hajj would be fasting during Ramadan. The hajj is like the uh, trip trip to Mecca, the trip pilgrimage to Mecca. To Mecca. Um, daily prayer, so five times a day towards. Mecca. Towards, towards Mecca. Um, and then there is Alms. almsgiving, so almsgiving, like charity. Uh, um, and then the last one. Come on. Is Miss just, just trying to kill me right now? I don't remember it. What is it? So what are these five pillars holding I up? Teach I'm ignorant. Because um, I don't. I mean, the word cause, of God. Because. Uh, oh yeah, the, the shahada. Um, yeah, I'd probably go with alms. The shahada is the de- declaration of faith. So there's one. Or there's no only one. There's no God but Allah, and Muhammad is his messenger. It is all you have crazy to do is say those words, and you're a Muslim. How much we learned about other Christian religions in uh, Judaism as well, but we didn't learn like anything about. So Islam. I will say, really? in our, I say, I yeah. will say, in our grade school, I do remember learning that we learned the, the five pillars of Islam. I think we learned school. a bit about the five pillars, and we learned about like. I don't remember covering that. We we covered Maybe a little bit. We, co- we covered school. a little bit of right Islam show. and Hinduism. Just like, just like, like a very yeah. Hinduism in English class because we read um, Siddhartha. That, one, so, mm, no, that was that, that was sophomore in high school. Yeah, I read Siddhartha. Siddhartha was yeah. in yeah, high school. But yes. What are you talking about? Rickshaw boy. Ah, yeah. Yeah, we yeah, read Rickshaw boy in sixth or seventh grade. Have you guys read Animal Hinduism. Farm? <laughs> You're thinking of farm animals. You're thinking of farm, farm animals. animals. I haven't read that one. I've heard good things. <laughs> okay. yeah. I think my favorite pillar is. I like your arms. Alms is pretty cool, yeah. you know, um, but the shahada is pretty cool, you know, just you say those words and you can call yourself a Muslim, that's all you gotta do, that's why it's one if of the easiest, if you're about to die, yeah. and you wanna recite the shahada, yeah. you can yeah, go it's to the heaven. easiest religion to convert to in the world, like, that's why you know, Islam spreads so much, that and the, like, I mean that's probably why, like, you know, for yeah. example, yeah. makes sense, it's probably a reason why, like, Mormonism is spreading, right, they're pretty easy to convert to. As well. Oh really? I, I don't know how the conversion process. Well, is. just you know, their whole point is about um, passing on the word. So like, you have to take a two-year mission trip. So the point is to just get as many people as possible. I feel like there's more restrictions to be Mormon. It sounds though, like a pyramid scheme though. to me. With Islam, it's pretty uh, easy. Like, because like the Quran can be interpreted a lot of to, different to ways. To be honest, sure. to be honest, most churches are a pyramid scheme because, you know, they're all tax-free. So let's talk about the difference between a religion and a cult. Always a gray area for me. It's hard to define. Oh, I've came up with reasons before. <laughs> We're near the home of a former cult leader. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the guy Jim, who... Jim um, Jones. Jim yeah. Jones, yeah. Went to Butler. Sam's alma mater. I didn't go with him. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think we no just crap. missed each other. I don't Is remember the years. Like his father's um, South America? Yeah. 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 Oh, wow. Yeah. Jonestown. I would say... Have you seen The Master? Paul Thomas Anderson. Come on, Sam. Just watched it last night. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's great. Masterclass. Second time I've seen it. 
I've seen some master This guy's classes. a cinephile. Um, I would say that if you don't, if you haven't grown up, up around Christianity, especially Catholicism, and you come into it, you would think it looks like cool. a cult. Man. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, right. But what's the difference? That's the question, right? What's I mean, I mean, I think really it's more like time based, kind of. Like, I mean, religion has you know, organized religion been around for two thousand years. What's time? Nah, this is falling apart real quick. You're not gonna tell me what time is. No, I'm just well, saying. Well, it's been around like, for 2,000 years. Yeah. So, like, so like, like there's a at, probably at the beginning, probably at the beginning, in. they thought it was a cult. Cause, uh, like, that doesn't work as a difference. I mean, the ancient, like, in ancient Roman times, like, Romans were killing Catholics. So it was probably, you know, considered a cult. They didn't really know what it was. And then it just lasted so long. So religions are cults is how we're concluding this? Uh, I mean, I think everything, you know. Because I don't buy that definition, if I'm being honest. Because that definition is based off of time. And nobody can define time. Last time I checked. But you can have a cult without religion, and you cannot. Or sorry, what was cult, to, cult is basically a cult doesn't need a religion to be a cult. But um, really, religion can be religion without a cult. So yeah. I. That's why I don't think that thing. I, I, think I, I see what you're trying to but get. A but religion, a, a cult, most of the time harps on harps on religion and of like a higher speed spirituality. Okay. Like I that is a major saying. aspect. I mean, it's I also not think necessary to have a cult. Like, also, you don't have to have a spiritual aspect for it to still be a cult. I also think a cult usually dies. I don't know. If I'm running a cult, that's going to be one of the first things to get people <laughs> in my cult is that spiritual element. I think I think a cult dies with that one leader though, usually. That is most of what a cult is. Oh, it's a uh, uh, somewhat based. somewhat. But like a lot of them have you seen Wild Wild leader. Country. That's no. a really good documentary of a cult that definitely, you know, a community that's I'm interested. riding the line between religion and cult, for sure. They bought a ton of land in... Utah? Utah? I don't know, I'm just guessing. <laughs> Where did they buy... They, they established a whole community. They went from uh, somewhere in India, I believe, to the U.S. in... I think it was Ohio, to be honest. I could be very wrong. Right. So a cult is something, it says, it's a group of people with extreme dedication to a certain leader or set of beliefs that are often viewed as odd by others. Yeah, I feel like a lot of it has to come down to, like... Time. I, I, I think time is a big one, though. Yeah, just, like, who's observing it. I mean, or again, like, sorry. I feel like it, for it to be a cult, you cannot leave, whereas religion, you can leave as well. Like, you can decide mm. how much you commit, whereas a cult, you don't decide what your commitment level is. I don't know what cult is. you've been in, but... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but it's like, you know what I mean? Like, you can still be no. a part of the church and not... I don't know. I think it's... I think they're both harping on the same, um... Vulnerabilities humans have. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean... But... I mean, yeah. <laughs> I, I think it's such a gray line. While I watched Wild Wild Country, I questioned it a lot. Like, what makes a religion? What makes a cult? Um, I don't know. I feel like religion is more uh, community-based, and cult more is, like, trying... I don't know. Oftentimes, the like, I think, kind of in stuff. general, like... Cults can cult, be very community-based. Like, cults... Not all cults are religious. We kind no. of said that, but like religion at its at its worst is cultish, where like you feel there's like entrapment, you don't have freedom. Um, it's ultimately harmful to certain members of it, um, or at the expense of other groups. Um, but like religion at its best has actual like positives, where like it can instill hope, cooperation, and like does that really happen all the time? Not necessarily, but like but religion has like, like positive aspects. You guys gotta watch this wild, wild and, and country. Cults, you need cults to also tend to, wild, tend to tend to isolate. It's on Netflix. That was beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, the religions go. you go visit Cults. other churches and network like yeah. I I have and like do go to a couple churches bro. in other places and straight up network like but, I was looking for an internship and I did that and like went around and like people yeah. introduced myself and people gave me their business cards and do you know what I mean but there, a cult I don't think you can do that there are also some cults I think that that's that how they grow I think no. they grow the same way I think I think, you an I think a lot of cults. <laughs> I mean, it could, it could, it could be the start of a really <laughs> weird like, cult movie, you know? Yeah. Like, I get, yeah. But I I, not really. offering you <laughs> to be a part of a bigger collective. They're, I mean, it's targeting people who uh, are isolated and giving them a larger purpose as but, one. But they also tend to isolate more. 
and like a, the, the the idea of a cult is more not really to grow like they grow that way a little bit but most of the growth is internal so they create kids that grow up in the cult because you can wash them and brainwash them and then they don't know anything else the idea the idea is to have a, you to know only the cult well you have a very uh narrow view of a cult I feel <laughs> <laughs> well you, like, speaking you, of religion yeah 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 do cults run summer camps? like my church runs summer camps that's good <laughs> cults run summer camps cult yeah, becomes your whole life mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. well speaking of Christianity and then Islam kind mm-hmm. of kind mm-hmm. of I guess I don't know what I where do you stand on Israel is the Israeli Palestinian conflict like who you got I don't know yeah. Palestine Okay. One state Palestine. or two states? Two One state, states. two states. Two states? As long as they're not parties, that's what I'm against. I mean, I think parties. I think at the same time, us white people <laughs> screwed Israel, but at the same time, we also screwed Palestine. We kind of just put them into the same location. We're like, oh, this place isn't really inhabited at all. Having a nationality is a human right yeah. at the end of the day. So well, the it's, a, best it's a given, right? But it's not with this conflict. No, yeah. it's not. People don't have a nationality. So that means that their children don't have nationalities. Oh. We're talking about people not having passports. We're talking about people not mm-hmm. having a respected governing body over them. Or the ability to get a passport, essentially, right? Yeah. Like, quite literally. Or electricity or running water. A- mm-hmm. any, like They are considered not claimed by any government. Therefore, no one is responsible for them. Yeah, that's crazy. Because people love to claim stuff. Palestine's in pretty rough shape. Yeah. Yeah. I have. Yeah, what would you do if you were there? Two, two states, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm not doing anything. Um, well, the issue comes down to if you did a one state solution now, you're displacing people who were born in Israel, who had nothing to do with the original settlement of yeah. Palestine. But you have all of these Palestinians that have had the last 70, 80 years. Have haven't had their homeland, and every day they get less and less of their homeland until, I don't know, maybe they don't have any anymore. So if you say two states, I would understand from a Palestinian perspective of that doesn't make any sense. They came in, they invaded my land, now I have to cede some of my land to them. That doesn't, doesn't make much sense. I would probably say maybe two states, but it's tough to say. Either way... Because I, I feel like if you say... Two states doesn't seem viable, if I'm being honest. But I feel like if you say... It, a lot of people don't think it is. Yeah, but I feel like if you say one state, the issue is, is just going to be full on. Well, yeah, and that's the problem. And I completely understand, like, the idea behind a nation. Yeah. I, I would just yeah. like both to be recognized. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. we will recognize... It's impossible to unify, is mm-hmm. the conclusion. There's I think no that's way the problem, because it, it, it does mean, seem hopeless, and it's easy to say it's impossible, like shouldn't be that hard yeah, right. you know like, like it, it, it it comes down to a few decisions made by like britain france 40s. and like the un in general like if you look at the original un partition plan and what they offered like they were giving the israelis more land for less people and they offered palestinians like less land for more people because there are more palestinians than israelis there at the time and yeah. palestinians said no we don't want to do that because why should we give up more land? This is where we've been the whole time. And then the UN just kind of... Screw it. Yeah, okay, it's, Israel has a state now and you guys just don't. Hmm. Because, like, it wasn't a fair deal and they didn't agree to it. So then they got nothing. Which, um... Also doesn't... That's which, why the West should not try to rule the world. Well, it's also, you know... The, the West tries to cookie-cutter it. Yeah. And well, act like it's... And the West is making decisions for other parts of the world oh, that at the end of the day don't really affect us. And that is why well, we those decision-making processes aren't done well because it doesn't affect the way we live here. And where the West is always going to, or always has been, making decisions for other parts of the world. So therefore, we're living without consequences as U.S. citizens. Really. Yeah. They're suffering. Then you look at that region in general. I mean, it was ruled by the Ottomans for a long time who were Turkish. Mm-hmm. And now ruled by, then ruled by Europeans, then ruled by other outside forces, and the way the British and the French divided up the lands was based on, like, borders that would create conflict between (laughs) ethnic groups. They intentionally made those borders so that those people wouldn't be able to create cohesive governments, so that they would have to rely on the British and French for their own economic sustainability, 
that's, and that's why we get just right there. And that's wow. why we get all our oil from there because it's there, and they knew they could do that. But I mean, amazing resources. There's so many. Yeah. And then who sells weapons to those places? Yeah. We do. We sell like hundred billion dollars worth of <laughs> stuff to Saudi Arabia. <laughs> I've seen bombing Yemeni school buses. But that's true. That did happen. And I mean, did the same, did also did the same thing in Africa. I yeah. Mean, we cook and cuttered everything. The Congo. Mm-hmm. Nobody King wants Leopold. to recognize that World War Three already happened. Mm-hmm. Anyone ever read King Leopold's Ghost? The horrible book to read. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a good book. But it's like... so hard. Yeah. Or like Things Fall Apart. Do you know which of it? I can't without crying. So sad. Ben Affleck's supposed to be making a King Leopold's ghost movie. Really? Um, I don't know how I feel about this. Yeah, I don't know. Right. A guy from Boston making yeah. that movie is crazy. <laughs> yeah. That's insane. Uh, that, that's that's, that's the part that I have an issue with. No, I haven't, but like I yeah. know what it is. It, yeah. I mean, I, I made me cry. I mean, it would be it would be a good movie just if Ben Affleck wasn't writing it. <laughs> yeah. He's actually gonna write. No, no, no. We supposedly. Did. Ben Affleck like has like pretty milk toast like left wing views like no, it I, says I, like good stuff Ant-Man? like about, I'm not, about I'm not, some no. good thing of Paul Rudd right. oh, uh, that's uh, I just don't think a white Paul person Rudd. writing it no, I, well, I think he's writing with Spanish. Matt Damon if that makes you feel yeah. better <laughs> 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 I don't know I don't like one of them is going to be King like, Leopold well, I, think. Think. Wait, 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 I don't mind like the I don't know the acting in that role but I don't think they should be writing a movie by themselves it's been in the production for at least like five years so I don't know if it's ever going to be to some degree yeah no I don't know what's going on with it absolutely not let's stop that right here no way biggest difference of the Chinese the Chinese movie that I'm pushing this yeah, I, it's a bit, yeah. I, I don't even remember. I don't remember the name. Of, yeah, I remember that though. What were you guys saying? Uh, uh, pro freedom of sh- speech. Well, you said, Anybody? are you going to limit how people can speak? And I said, yeah. Yes. Are you going to limit how people speak? Yes. What uh, camera? Are we on? Oh, whoa! I said, I don't know. We can't whoa! Talk. What camera are we on? What camera are we on? That'd be a good question. Hi. Yeah. Oh, hey. Hi. Hi. So we're going to limit how people speak? Yeah. Is that a question? Mark? No, no that's a terrible that idea. Speak. That's compelled speech. What are we talking about here? <laughs> speech Why? has all, already been compelled. Well, how? In what regard? I don't mean compelled the word. But, um, it is a no. word. It's not it's, the it's, word yeah, that you're looking yeah, for. No. The speech has already been... Are I you just, saying censored? No, he, he said compelled, but I've said compelled. Uh, yeah. but, uh, it's no, really speech. Evan's fault. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Evan's fault. It's Evan's fault. I just followed it. Just like everything. But, no. Speech has already been censored. How so? What laws? In history, like... In the Alien U.S., sedition acts. it's always happened. No, like, you you say you come on with facts. I want to hear them. Okay. You can't what, yell how? fire in okay, a movie okay, theater. Okay, ready. Can't yell bomb on a plane. Those are laws. Uh, with very uh strict like safety protocols, right? You can't are yell you bomb on a plane. If we want to really talk about yeah. like civil rights movement time, a lot like, of stuff. Lots of slurs you probably should The feds killed say. MLK. They killed Freddie Hayes. If you speak out too much. All right, but but laws against I'm just saying we cannot make laws against how people speak, which is what you're talking about. There was there was laws. You think there was laws during World War II that Japanese people really couldn't speak, and then they put them into camps. All right, so are you saying that's not fucked up? Because I'm saying that's fucked up. That that is, but I'm just saying freedom of speech has never really been a thing. I'm not saying that like you should. But it's a good thing, right? I'm arguing for it. I guess, and we're not arguing against it. We're just saying that like. Yeah, you shouldn't be able to yell fire in a movie theater and then have people trample each other. You shouldn't be able to yell bomb on a plane and make a bunch of people think they're going to die. Right. Yeah. And those are not really hard places. And, and, and again... You're not going to limit how people speak in public places. Right? But people, people pri- still private get... Private establishments, I mean... I mean, people get silenced other ways, though. You can get sued for defamation of character. That is also repressing freedom of speech. You can't... Yeah, that is interesting. Like, um, I don't have great examples of that. But, like, what but I'm saying, that's like slander in a sense, right? Yeah, you know, but like, that's also speaking in a public place to public people. But what if that person actually did it? Yeah. It's exactly. So it's like, it's, it's defamation. So you better yeah. talk about it. But the person did it. Right. But you can still sue them for defamation by saying that you did it. So mm-hmm. is that helpful or not helpful hey, if the person actually did it? Somebody try to limit my speech. Try. Like, I'm pretty sure, uh. Um, uncapped. For example, uh, recently, um, uh, Ted Bundy. Um, who was the serial killer that like ate people? 
Jeffrey it? Dahmer. Yeah, Jeffrey Dahmer, his oh. dad sued Freak. for slander. Classic, you know, when you're defending your murder son, you know, yeah. murder. He's, he's, he's sued for slander. He sued Netflix for slander and like defamation. I've got a good example. Like, do you see John Hinckley Jr. is trying to get a concert going? He's been trying to do it for months, and I think he's finally got one set up. Oh really? Yeah, the guy who tried to uh, kill Reagan. Yeah. Um, to impress like 14 year old Jody Foster. Yeah. He I thought told him that. But the problem was, she was like 14, 13 and 14 in Taxi Driver, which yeah. is where his obsession came from. Yeah. And so he tried to kill Reagan, thinking, oh, if I kill Reagan, she's going to love me. Um, yeah. And two problems there. <laughs> yeah, One, she was a child. Yeah. Two, she's gay. Um, yeah. And he's a grown man. Uh, but he was declared like legally insane. Um, we just got out of prison. And, or he was on like house arrest for the past five years, and now he's allowed to publish music. Because um, for a while he had to censor his stuff. Basically, he could post stuff online, but it had to be under a pseudonym, so people didn't didn't know that John Hinckley Jr. was doing it. And now he's posting his music. And it's pretty interesting stuff. And he's yeah, doing a concert. Music. Yeah, he does like Bob Dylan covers mm -hmm. and oh. writes his own folk music. He's a big. I'm not folk saying music you guy. shouldn't be able to it's lose very your right to yeah, free yeah, speech. Yeah. Maybe I am. I mean, I don't even know he's Maybe on I am. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm just it's saying. Crazy. There's, there's yeah. been a lot of stuff in history where it's just like freedom of speech is it, it is still limited like very limited right now oh yeah yeah john hinckley yeah. jr can't talk about jody foster All right, like, but that, that's, he's not that's allowed to do that or else he will go right. back to jail that's situational because he's fuck. i don't know the situation but it sounds fucked yeah. it sounds like he shouldn't be talking to a but, lot of people but like say saying for example and like you could say anything like say somebody is a murderer they could sue you for defamation of character so that, that is still limiting freedom of speech. So, Evan, are you saying that you think, or let me start over. Do you think that freedom of speech should come without consequence? No, of course not. So you're not a free speech absolutist? Well, I, I would, I don't know, I'm not going to agree to a rule that says you can't say anything. If you say the N-word, you know, Sam... You probably deserve to get your ass kicked, to be honest. So but, you're not a free speech absolutist. Hey, whoa. Because you believe that there should be consequences to yeah, saying Yeah, consequences, something. but not enforced by the government. So from what I'm fighting, if you beat me up, then you're going to go to jail for honestly, beating me up. Honestly, yeah. guys, a racial slur probably should. No, I mean, if you got prison me, time for it, you probably should get it. You're going to what? So, so if someone yells fire... Well, I'm not going to say it regardless, so yeah. don't worry. Don't right. worry about well, me. On the same page I, honestly, though, but prison time came with saying a slur. So be it. They should get their no, ass kicked in prison. No. So saying, like Sam's example, saying fire in a movie theater, you think there shouldn't be consequences for that? No, of course do? there should be. Of course there should be. Should it be private? Should it be like so dad should in the movie theater? Movie theater? Yeah, the on the scale of like... The movie theater should enforce it. Absolutely. They should, yeah. be, should, yeah. they should yeah. beat up the guy. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> what do they do? Then he goes to another movie theater. Put him in the theater jail or like make him work the popcorn booth for a month? Like I'm confused. Ban him? Ban him? That's they, it? That's they put up a sign that says fire shouters and serial <laughs> murderers. <laughs> <laughs> Together. Yeah. And then you and see another just, one of him with glasses and a nose and a mustache and it's really? like they just keep coming back in. Yeah. Alright, so a law banning yelling fire in a movie theater that makes sense, but it's very it's a very uh limited law. There's not that, a law only, for that, that only that only takes law. place in a very a confined You're gonna space. Get Bob is that fire. Right. Right. That's what I'm talking about. Establishing laws that limit that speech. That sounds right, but I don't know if that's a good against. law. Well the government's still like enforcing it. Even if there's not a law on the yeah. books that say you cannot yell F I R E it's creating a you know -E Speaking of speech, Jacob disturbance. would you mind doing yeah. your Stewie uh, Griffin impression for all of us? <laughs> that's really funny that that's the one thing that you really I just, saving up. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you do I mean, I'm, waiting, Stewie Griffin. I'm waiting now. And the funny thing is, I've never watched Family Guy, so I could not do a Stewie Griffin impression. <laughs> and I'm going to... Come just... on, guys. <laughs> yeah. He's holding out on you. He does a really yeah. good Stewie Well, when the Stewie Griffin skin drops in Fortnite, I'll do it. Okay? Because Family, Family Guy might be coming to Fortnite. Oh, wow. And if it does, then I'm playing and a lot I'm of buying a lot of I haven't books. played Fortnite in... But you will be. Well, we haven't played years. since... Few hours ago. A few hours ago, yeah. yeah. Oh wow, got a dub. No yeah, deal. we did. Hell we were playing the trios as a duo when we won. So, yeah. don't flex too hard. This is public. Yeah. 
Uh, we don't play that much Fortnite. No, we don't. No. I play it a lot. <laughs> I'm an adult. I have a master's degree. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> oh, you want to know what I want to talk about because I've talked about it and it was behind your eyes' back, so I'm going to say it to your face because I don't want to be behind your back. I want to be up front. So, uh, last podcast, you know, I listened to it many times, as I said. I'm going to not listen to this one because it's, it's taking a toll on my mental. Um, you all had very, uh, uh, I'd say a dire mindset when it come when it came to our uh, economic. What, what about current it? state in this country? Uh, which I just find it's very ironic to me that the people with economics degrees don't think there's a way to compete in the current economy. Is the point. Are yeah. you are you adding somebody right now in the room? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I mean, I have an economic. Both the guys degree. that bragged about their degrees last time and talked shit about the economy. I mean, yeah, I stand yeah. by the fact that it is in a capitalist market. So right, do you not have any concern that you paid for this education that taught you that there's no way to compete I in the current economy? I like, have something. To say. Well, yeah, well, like I learned, I went to school and studied economics. I didn't study. American capitalism or American economics. Right, okay. It's like theoretical mm-hmm. economics, so we talked about everything. Alright, alright, fair enough. It's more, it's not as defined as <clears throat> just the U.S. economy. Yeah, right. I sense. guess what I think was thinking when you were talking, because we're all talking about this, was like, not everyone can be a business owner. Like, not everyone can be a, a capitalist. You know, you're not a capitalist unless you're actually you're owning yep. things and owning, like, the means of production. You know, like, so like, if everyone did Failure. Then okay. nothing like if in a capitalist society, if everyone had a lot, and that's not really possible, right? Because there has to be people below to be buying those things under capitalism. Like yeah, I'm not. Those make sense. Yeah. And so, like ultimately, like an example I like to think about is when I was in college. There was a kid who lived down the street in an apartment complex. He was like 12. Come over to all the college kids' houses and like plow their driveways and stuff and ask for money. Um, oh, and. Lord like really cool kid um and like i would always like give him snacks and stuff and like i'd drive him home because it was like a mile walk back to his apartment complex now he makes four million a year plow plow and snow probably not I'm unfortunately kidding, man, no. but like his family he, like he lived with his mom and like two siblings um and they lived in like the worst par- apartment complex i've ever seen like 50 potholes like gigantic in the apartment complex the windows weren't sealed like so their like heating bill was insane because the windows weren't sealed. Um, his mom worked as, like, a delivery driver for Pizza Hut, mm-hmm. um, and she, so, like, potentially, like, she has her own kind of way of making money, right? The car. She has a car, so she could do that. Her car breaks down. Costs $2,000 to fix. What does she do? Just a normal person. I mean, what do you don't, do? Don't get me wrong. That's fucked. I don't have the solution to that. That's, like... A terrible situation. And so, see, that's what I'm saying. So then you get in this situation. So her whole job relied on her having a car. Now, how does she get to work? She has two kids, three kids. How does she get to work? What do they do? Because the, the reason she was the reason she was a pizza delivery driver is the kids would. I'm not. I'm, not, I'm just saying like <laughs> she would deliver pizzas with the kids in the car with her because it was the one job she could do to keep like her kids with her. And now what do you do? And so like I'm just. I guess the, a lot of what you guys were talking about was like being a business owner and being able to climb and being business owners. No one's a business owner. Like, we're not going to own, most of us here aren't going to own. wants to. But, like... I do own uh, a company. For most people, just you're not going to own a business. <laughs> and no, that's I, not the path to, like, and that's not, like, people owning businesses isn't the path out of poverty. The path out of poverty right. is people just having enough to survive and enjoy their lives. Yeah, that was... It's talking about a path, though. What? Like a path out of poverty is starting a business. But you need a lot of capital for that. But who, but who has to work at that business? Yeah. If you're going to yeah. start your business, people have to work for it, and they're not owning it under capitalism. So I just, like, a tough... I don't really... Because if you want a McDonald's, right. someone's working at McDonald's. And it's not just high right. school kids because I, I McDonald's is open like, during the daytime. Uh, the difference here on the Friends with Differences is... Like, I have uh, an optimism and a... a ambition and a confidence in general society that they can climb that ladder and they can start with a business that they don't have a ton of capital with and you know start and scale that to be a viable 
living for themselves. You but think but, that, but, that, 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 really, but that really doesn't happen anymore. Yeah, like, what, yeah. like my, my argument for it was that... That, yeah, I, that some I, capital is required, absolutely. But yeah. that that ideal is from like the night, like early nineteen hundreds when white immigrants were coming over, and it wasn't as expensive to live in the United States. Now, like we're forcing immigrants to go back to their country a lot, a lot of the times that they're illegal. So, I mean, yeah, they can't live the so-called American dream where you would make a bunch of money and like do better than where you were. Like that's not. I wouldn't say that's Here's, as much of a thing. What? You don't think people can come here to do better? Well, here's what I would say. It's like, hard to come It's here, certainly that, yeah. possible to climb out of poverty, but like, do you think that every person that makes a lot of money works harder than people who don't make money? Do you think like Elon come Musk... Come on now. Come on. So is I've it, worked. It's been a, I've, I've held many jobs. I've had many people who, uh, you know... I, so have people take credit. If you're paid more, for your hard absolutely. work and or your skill or a combination of the two, knowledge and things like that, does Elon Musk know legitimately a billion more <laughs> times more than I do? Does he deserve to be paid a million times more than I do? No, to the, the regard. Does a CEO of, work 150 times harder than a? I do uh, think like he's point. never and if, not working. I do believe that. Well, in it, the even sense it, of, like, don't, he's always. I guess I shouldn't have brought Elon Musk into this. But like, <laughs> does a CEO work 150 times harder than an employee? No, it's not right. possible. So to like work Bezos, 150, 150 hours, times great guy. Everybody covers. loves him, right? So Bezos. Uh, Did he died. Talked about this. Yep, they, he blew up. <laughs> wow. Space. Oh, wait, East Palestine. E- oh my. Yeah, yeah it was that his, was him. Yeah. That's but crazy. I heard him talk about. How his job is not to make a ton of decisions and not to do a lot every day, right? His job is to make a very small amount of high quality well, decisions. Well, then how do you pull yourself up by your bootstraps to be the guy who makes five decisions every month <laughs> to yeah. say, uh, yeah, well, let's you gotta buy out You've got to make a million Twitch. decisions right before that, obviously. But, but, I mean, but then how I do you mean, pull yourself I, I, up by I mean, bootstraps? I mean, Bezos did start with what, like? Two million dollar loan from his parents, something crazy. It, it was in the in the in the in the seventies. No, no. What I'm saying is like Bezos. At the same point, like it's very hard for that American dream of coming with nothing to become something when it takes two million dollars to really get the company going. To that scale. To get. Yeah, and the scale. average American, I can somebody Google it. I, I'm pretty sure the average yeah. American cannot afford like um three months of just like unexpected no pay so like if the average american got laid off today they would not be okay yeah, for the next three that. months it's like the like average that. person dies like 60k in debt isn't it's, that comforting it's yeah. really high so but, like what makes you think people have the capital the to like nobody has the capital people have the ability to get capital via credit right but like money's but who more. gets credit yeah, it beats me. You have to uh, establish a line of history, for sure. And where do you get that from? Emerald mines. Using <laughs> quite literally, in, my, in some billionaires. You cases. have to be very good at you know maneuvering money and shuffling money. No, your parents capital. do. Parents build credit. Your yeah. parents and your grandparents build credit. Yeah, if they sold, let's say they sold bombs to Saudi Arabia, they could have a lot of money that you now have by right. selling bombs to Saudi Arabia. But that they don't eventually on a Yemeni school bus. Give you your credit score. But they give you capital that helps you build a good credit score. Most of the time, and, yeah, but and, not everybody. And also, right. so a lot of times, like but people with good credit scores. A lot of times, people with good no, credit scores. No, it doesn't scores. make a good credit score. A though. lot of times, people that come with a good, good credit score now, they were given like. You know, credit card at 16 that their parents signed on that allowed them to build some credit before they went. Or they had parents who had cash to give them when they needed it. So if you're building credit and you know that no matter what, that credit card is going to get paid off because mommy and daddy can give you the cash if you're short. Extremely privileged people know that, right? I come from a privileged background, but I'm not thinking... (laughs) No worries, you know, they're going to cover my credit card. Obviously, it's on me. It's a personable accountability, but, right? You're building your own credit, and yes, your parents might very well, if you're lucky enough, they'll set you on a path to where you have good credit. But do you need to take out 
a loan to get your first apartment, things like that. Like some people really Most need to take out a loan more. for everything they own. They cannot just buy their phone cash, cannot just buy their car cash. Most people take out loans or get on payment plans for those things. And why do they need to do that? Because they're starting off with zero. And so to start off with zero and you need to establish here's, yourself, here's you a, go into the negative compared to your parents giving you your first car. Here's, here's a good example. So my brother-in-law, uh, he grew up on the west side of Indianapolis in a really terrible neighborhood. But he, shout out west side. <laughs> but exactly. he, needed, he needed to buy a car and he didn't have the credit score for it. So he had to take a loan out at 25% interest rate. And he was paying that car off. Like every time he, he gave more money to try to pay off some of it, it went to the interest. So he never was paying off the car. So my my dad had to go in and pay a lump sum so that the thing would stop. Like, and the fact is he was paying off a car. I, I mean, this car had like probably 280,000 miles on it. It was a piece of crap. And he probably paid 30,000 to a car that was probably worth yeah, that's bad. Yeah. Because your choices are so limited. Your like choices you have, are so If limited. you, like, you need a car for your job, yeah. depending on where you're living, because there's no public transportation, you know, going back to that. And so Big you have to make the decision. And if you don't have someone to give you a car, or you don't have a connection with somebody who, like, owns a car dealership yeah. or can get you a car or can help you, yeah. you're out of luck. Like, and so, like, potentially, like, if I'm from somewhere in Indiana and I know people, I've grown up in this community, my pa- my dad... My parents, even though they're not wealthy, have connections with people. They can help me find something that's affordable. Let's say I'm an immigrant. I don't have those connections at all. You know that those connections don't exist. There's organizations that help them, but like they're not just going to give you a car. You don't have like, you don't have that. That I've had, you know. Kind of like Sam and I both live in a house that we just pay utilities on, <laughs> which is like the biggest godsend I've ever yeah. had. And, like I would be able to it's great. Yeah, and like that's like that's I ha- I don't have like the privileges a lot of people. I have so many privileges, you know. Like that's like no way I'd be able to do anything I do without just having a place I can just. I'm like, oh, I live here. I don't have to pay besides just bills. And I mean, going on to that though, like even getting my brother-in-law to like kind of understand that he does have some privileges. It's a very hard thing for yeah. somebody like and that grew up like that to admit, but yeah. it's like you kind of have to push it a little bit. Yeah. Because you definitely still have. Yeah, if you're not aware of your privilege, I mean, it's impossible to be fully aware, but, like, I've always been, like, uh, I remember in high school, like, talking with Grant, me and Grant would often pow wow, you know, and, uh, he's, like, pre-going to college, right after high school, talking about how, like, um, like, it seems like everybody has, like, a, like, a guilt in them because they were given an opportunity by their parents it's like yeah it's just a terrible thing to harp on you know like your parents don't want you feeling guilty that they've given you an opportunity right i wouldn't call it guilt necessarily i would say just like acknowledging that it exists though yeah because like if i'm in a position to help my kids i will do everything i possibly can to help my kids so they don't have to like go through the yeah any of those struggles but like I want the other people to have those same opportunities too, you know, like... And, and again, the difference between equity and equality, right? Like, you got to make up for the years of them not being able to have said privileges and got left behind compared to where, you know, white people were <laughs> for the whole time. Like, yes, some white people didn't grow up with the most amount of money and stuff, but they still had some privileges and were able to get a good job, like a decent job. And yeah, like at baseline, like, yeah. especially if you go a little bit further back in history or not so far yeah, back yeah. sometimes. Not it's just, back it's so like, back yeah, it just really depends on the circumstance. But if you just at baseline, it just if you're white, it doesn't if you're poor, you still have a... You still have, you still have some. Speaking some, on like, your house and, like, the, the blessing that is where you live. Well, because that's capital. You, that's well, it's, um, like, redlining... You know, people could get loans, black people specifically, but all minorities could get loans, but they would tell you what zone you could live in. Yeah. And yeah. in most cities, there's actually a project that was done. It's literally, I'm pretty sure, called the Redlining Project, and they've gone through libraries all through the country to show people their own city. Yeah. But they always would put people, at least in my hometown, in flood zones. 
So imagine you can only get a loan for a house in an area that is prone to flooding. Yeah. What happens? You're constantly fixing your house. Yeah. You're, you're never paying, paying it off. Yeah. yeah you're, you're constantly fixing it up. And now that house is, you know, instead of paying to get the water pumped out of your basement, like you could have been buying a car. You could have been paying for your kid's school. And so it's like it comes. It, it's a yeah. cycle, even if you're you know, talking about people with disadvantages. And they can make those areas depreciate versus appreciate by, like, just where you live. Like well, this ex- that, yeah. and just, again, if you keep put in a place that is environmentally unfavorable, right, yeah. by a factory or things like that. So, yeah, yeah it's, but there's nothing wrong with having privilege. Yeah. It's, but it's a matter of do you recognize your privilege. Yeah, that, like, that, that's having, the thing, for sure. Yeah. Well, we live in Indiana, and uh, just if you go to Greenwood, Indiana, just uh, if you uh, go well, there, but if you go there, no south, reason south. in particular. Yeah, but like, we're not till like the '60s and the '70s, it was like oh, it was a sundown town. Yeah, it was a sundown yeah. town. After that, just not like a like, official like thing. Yeah. But like, that's what it was. Like, you yeah. couldn't. It was entirely segregated. Oh yeah. I told my family I was dating him, and they were like, "Oh, he's from Indianapolis." And yeah. they were, I was like, yeah, and they were like, oh, what part? Does it end in Woodsville? And they named a couple other things, and they were like, any Land. of those things? Woods, Land, Woodville. Wood, Woodville, Land, Indiana. Yeah. And, and I was like, ooh, he's from Greenwood. And they were like, uh-oh, mm-hmm. like, that's yeah. sundown town. Because that's yeah. literally our parents' generation. Greenwood was sundown town. Like, yeah. I could not be in this neighborhood yeah. safely. I know when my parents first met, like, and my dad was like, oh, I'm moving to Indiana, blah, 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 like, People were always just like, oh, like that's where like the clan was from, you yeah. know. Like yeah. you know, there's a lot of clan presence in Indiana for a long time, so. But Abraham Lincoln's boyhood. All right. Boyhood. Again, I wouldn't say Abraham Lincoln's necessarily like the best. No. <laughs> yeah. <I know. laughs> Sorry, I came in late. No, you're good. Yeah. How much time we got? What, what are you? Oh yeah. How are you feeling? I could go all night. Oh, me too. I'm down to keep it rolling. But, man. like, the problem, is, <laughs> the problem is... The problem is this video's gonna be... We're, like, gonna be, two hours in, almost. We're gonna have to cut it in half. Feels like, good. hour 40, I'd say. Yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna hour 40. We'll cut it in half. We'll make it two. We'll have to see it. We're, we're not making it two. Well, that's too much work, and I'm doing it, so... <laughs> Should we do the intro? How are we feeling? I don't I don't really care. Whatever you want to do. Any more movies I gotta be up you guys got on your mind? What kind of movies are there, dude? Did you guys see Banshees of Inishirin? Banshees, like, a what? Banshees of Inishirin. It's on HBO Max now. Mm-hmm. Very Irish movie. Mm-hmm. Any any Irish heads in here? Any uh, Irish heads? I any Irish? Right now, guys, they're looking at us. Any, are I'm you guys Irish? Ireland, oh, oh I didn't actually. know you guys were Irish. I, I didn't know that. I just booked a booked a trip to Ireland in the calendar. Actually, you should watch you the know. movies. Yeah. yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. I'm very excited. Yeah, with the fam. If you want to see the homeland, you want to see 1920s <laughs> rural Ireland. Watch Banshees of Inisherin. It's sad. It's funny. Yeah, it's that's great. what I was thinking. I was like, that doesn't sound riveting. I don't think at that time. It's great. So, like in the comment section of this episode, like we need to drop like all the movies we talked about, like the list. For I'll link the no link letterbox. Who's doing that? Thanks, Jacob. <laughs> I'll do it. What other movies? Well, what do you want Did to know? Some, all... Something new? Something old? Something? Like I said, the last movie, movie I saw was Avatar, Avatar The Way of the we Water. We saw Knock at the Cabin. Knock at the Cabin? The M- cabin? Yeah, the M. Night Shyamalan movie. Dave Bautista. How, how was that? I saw the trailers for it. I it's like a it. fun little romp. So, so M-, M. Night Shyamalan, kind of, you know, there's a few. I, I haven't seen old. I, I haven't like seen a bunch old. of them. I'd like to, like, watch some of them, because, like, critics seem to hate them. But, like, I'm yeah. seeing a lot of presence online of people, like, giving it some reappraisal and being, like, people are kind of hating him for stuff that he's doing intentionally. Like, the people, things people oh, yeah. are criticizing are like, oh, no, that's an intentional decision he's making that they just don't like. Yeah, no, there's, there's a few but it's I, interesting. Don't, I personally don't like. In yeah. the personal life or in the movie? No, no, in the movie. Oh. In the movie. Yeah. Okay. It's just, like, he, he's all about making a twist. Like, show, it's like a... Yeah, and, like, thing. yeah, Knock of the Cabin was good. I enjoyed it. Cabin in the mm-hmm. Woods? Never seen, seen it. I never seen it. I, never I, seen it. I don't think it's any kind of glass. There's something I out seen of glass. I haven't seen a break. I haven't seen a lot of Shaman. Shaman's a blind spot for me. Yeah. Yeah. I watched Emily the Criminal last night. That was good. Oh yeah. It sounds like a horror movie. Right? Aubrey Plaza. Yeah. No, Emily oh, no? the, the Criminal. Crim- criminal. criminal. That sounds like an action or. A it was like it was like all, as much action. Like there's some, but I would call it more like a. It would be more of a. I don't even know what to call it. I haven't seen it. Like, that's it's Aubrey Plaza. She has like credit card debt, right? 
and <laughs> yeah, classic and she's Aubrey. Got like a felony, so we're she's cool, having trouble close. getting employed. Really? Yeah. And so she like yeah, commits more it. crimes yeah, to sorry, be man. able I'm, to get I'm out of that yeah, like, kind of. to get yeah. to get herself like yeah. So it's like shows a cycle of not having privilege <laughs> and what it drove her to do. I have an experience of that. <laughs> <laughs> Never committed a crime. She like goes into like deep credit cra- credit card fraud like mm. scheming. She's really good at it. Have you seen Prisoners? No. Nope. Well, I, like, I feel like this might be time, fellas. <laughs> one last movie from Jacob, one? and it is... What do you want Hustler. To <laughs> gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm something. Sorry. Have you seen the Stanford <laughs> Prison Experiment? No, I never seen it. I know what it is. I read it. That's a like, fun I read movie. The, the Documentary. I didn't... Which if you want to talk about movies, sometimes give me a genre, give me a theme. I can, I can, I can, I, I can lay it down. Y'all check movies. out the Stanford Let's Prison go. Experiment just to learn how corrupt you could be. You know, I've read about it. Yeah, it's it's messed up for sure. I'm It'll sorry. awaken pick an actor you a little bit. Get a tier list going. Break down his film, filmography. Break, That's a good break idea. Down ABCDF. You guys know I'm Paul pro Dana tier list around here. here. You're anti tier lister. <laughs> Absolutely. Get that out of here. I think what? I should be one of it's 10 easiest, million white guys with a movie podcast. That's what I need to it, do. It is the easiest way to have. Podcast. It is, I'm not biased. It is the easiest we way to talk about it. Just have a discussion and have differences. It's a tier list. It is the easiest thing to make. Right. But I like about. exploiting the like just core differences of how we perceive and go about life. But we're wow. gonna run out of that. Because it's gonna be the same over and over and over again. Oh no we won't because we disagree on everything. I know I know, but I'm just telling you or we will yeah. run out yeah. of yeah. different guys talk about like, Leo. big Leo. topics. And his dating life. There's wow. things oh, I talk about Leo's dating life next episode. I know, but I'm saying like I think we In also debate differently. How so? Well, like, uh, I don't want to be insulting, but I feel like I'm going to be. You, you, I mean, <laughs> I mean, what you do is you bring up a point, but then I rebuttal. I bring up the just top one. Yes, mm-hmm. but yeah. then I rebuttal. Yes. And I bring up certain yeah. facts or certain things I've probably read See, about. The facts you call facts are rarely facts. They're just ideas you think are facts, I think. Such as? Can you name a fact you said in this podcast? <laughs> I mean, we talked about the Elon Musk one. Like, See, that's one. The Elon Musk one. Okay, but I'm just saying, like, I also talked about, we also talked about redlining. We talked about a bunch yeah, of things. But I, it seems I like guess, the outro. I guess uh, summarizing uh, what we uh, talked yeah. about. That was pretty I guess natural. when I think yeah. about outro. an argument, right, just the way I perceive it, or the way I, I approach this podcast, I'd say, is I don't know every concept I'm trying to explain thoroughly, right? I am uh, trying to expand on what I know about whatever topics we're talking about because I don't perceive to be the expert on the topics. So when I'm debating, I'm not trying to win the argument, like to... Uh, the objective of a... I mean, I'm not trying to win. The, the, we were talking about the winning because, you know, we got you to turn a couple times and change your mind. So that's why we jokingly said we won. I, mean, I don't actually keep, like, yeah. a track. I personally don't like debating at all. You don't? I hate it. See, I love debating. I'm a, I'm a unique person, right? Like, I'll play devil's advocate very confidently. No problem. I love interviews. I love conversations. I like very, I don't know, I'm a weird guy. But the goal of a conversation for me, like of, of, of an argument, debate, if you will, is to thoroughly hear and see both sides. Like, I don't, like, you can win a debate without being right. Yeah. Which, I mean,. Podcasts are gonna thrive if you if uh, you know. I, don't know. I mean, the issue was you try to you tried to play devil's advocate, but you also didn't have necessarily always the facts because you are saying like you're not right. But you claim you have facts, but I don't. I don't believe you. Okay, but that's a different than having facts still. Right, but you don't show me numbers. Episode. Three I I pulled I pulled links on our first yeah. conversation. Episode three is gonna be. 
You guys are gonna come. <laughs> no, we got full you're gonna come with notes. A binder. Yeah. I'll, I'll pull out a slideshow. Slides and like. I think no. you guys just need a solo episode, or like not just like just you two to just like. <laughs> What if you each do you a solo well, what if you each do a solo episode where yeah. it's just you? Monologue and you just, you just we've monologue talked about this. We have talked about and this. And then it's like thirty minutes of you, thirty minutes of Liam, you guys come together and now you guys hash it out. <laughs> you know? It's not the last thirty minutes. But I think he has more stern beliefs than I do. I don't think I have much figured out, if I'm being honest. Here's what we do. We give you a theme, all right? And Evan, it was like a, an issue, a social issue of some kind. I'll and you have to the and you have to yeah. debate it. You have to debate it, and then you have to act out what you think Liam would say. Okay? And then, yeah, then Liam doesn't get to see this. Then Liam comes in, and Liam does the same thing. He has to act out what you would say. Oh, and then we compare. This, would, this, would, compare. this would end in a fight. This will like be a like a... Therapy this would absolutely yeah, it's kind of like a metacognition I would to know what you know. think. And yeah, I know his would just person. be all insulting. <laughs> I just know it. I just know <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> Could be. But of different objectives in the conversation. There's differences around here. Well, I, I, mean, I mean, you, you, you like, think of the topics. But then you just kind of let. I then like you just kind of let. Commercial stuff. You kind of just let Sam, like when it was Sam and I, you kind of just let Sam and I just run with the conversation. Right. I like. And then we slurry. Your whole opinion, your whole argument. Yeah, but like, one. but like, the point is, you can come in and like, you're supposed to like rebuttal. That that's a part of an argument. Right. If I uh, have a cover, you know. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So what did you turn me on? We talk, we, which one did we turn them on specifically? Uh, I think we about? talked about Medicare for All. Maybe? Yeah, med- yeah. We, well, we talked about the right, public. We talked come about in public education. Stir- we talked about the that. public education price, like per student. Right. But uh, once again, it's not like I came in like against you guys. But that that's a whole socialist idea versus a capitalist idea. So that's what we even if we on. circle back because <laughs> I've came up with many arguments since the last podcast. Oh, you guys are rubbing your eyes. I can tell you want to <laughs> dig into this. So, Medicare. Oh, man. Do we save it? Sam. <laughs> Sam, you're looking tired. I'm yawning. Oh, you're looking I'm tired, sorry. I hope the mic doesn't pick up the yawn. I guess. Medicare. Guess, oh. Next time. Yeah. Next time. I'll Medicare let you make time. a call because it is a can of worms for sure. And I'm not against it or anything, but there's there's holes to be poked in the argument. And I like poking holes, you know? So, uh, we'll get into it next time. <laughs> Should we do the intro? Here we go. All right. Pause. Friends with Differences podcast coming at you every couple of weeks. We went through a whole list of topics today. Uh, our guest star was Jacob himself. Jacob, big movie expert. What else did we run through? What did we talk about? We talked about Xavier Remington, Xavier and Remington, the expansion of the neuron, expansion of the neuron, bullet yeah. train, <laughs> male to male extension cords, movies, Israel Palestine, <laughs> five um, pillars of Islam. Five pillars of Islam. We haven't talked about what we would get as a guest appearance fee for this, but I we'll guess talk we'll about, we'll, we'll talk right about that after. after. Yeah. Um, that, that's off camera. That's off camera. Um, what else? I think that's mostly it. Talk, talk about, about the gas leaks. Talk gas about gas leaks. leaks. Talk about redlining a bit. Talk about what else? Are we talking about? Yeah, I kind of missed out on the redlining Cal- conversation. California. Love, love the interesting topics. California transportation, public yeah. transportation, slash yeah. public transportation in general. We keep going back to Lots of movie one. talk. Lots of movie talk. Jacob. Way more movie talk Jacob than the I'm big comfortable movie with. Movie guest. Be honest. Movie guest. give us a little spin. It was a, it was a pleasure having you, Jacob. Uh, thank you for coming on. Hope you guys yeah. enjoy the podcast. Yeah, thank Cheers. You and Maya. And Maya. Oh, no. I'm so, I was too. I told you, I'm terrible at introductions. I was ready. I've been practicing all week for Jacob. Maya, I'm like thank you, you for the I'm surprise here. guest appearance. Yeah, we well, had a surprise I guest. I appreciate it. And, I just uh, happened to be in the car. Yeah. Yeah, this was fun. No, it was a good perspective for sure. For sure. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, <laughs> maybe I'll be it's good at introductions time. next time. Until next time, you all take care out there. Thanks for tuning in. Peace out. Send it.